Good evening, race fans, and a very warm welcome to this special event as the finale uh, run for F1 2021. My name is Webbo. I'm the host and creator of tonight's uh, special event. Uh, we have uh, drivers from nine different uh, leagues and teams that I've been part of through this year, uh, all competing to become the very first all-star uh, of uh, of F1 2021 as, as as at least I would like to judge it. We are um we're going to have a really really fun time tonight. Do let us know um if you're here to support a particular driver or if you find a new favorite. It's a brand new challenge for everybody. The drivers do not know what's coming. They didn't know the tracks in advance. I've eliminated the uh, setup um aspects so they can only choose from the um the five preset setups. Uh, we're going to have a look and a, make some judgments about their design skills on the multiplayer car. And also, we're going to put a preference on racing. Um, so there won't be any qualifying. It'll be reverse grids. And we will, hopefully, at the end of this, crown ourselves our first ever uh, all-star for this. Um, so we are about to get underway. But I just want to give a, a little thank you to everyone that uh, that I've been commentating over and for over this game it's uh, actually it's been a, a really uh, really big big deal for me um, over this last year and I wanted to do something to say thank you to everybody um, I have um, I I got my first um, commentary gig uh, with a league called Celeritas and uh, they later became Adrenaline Racing League um, and I, I uh, did the first first event on this game um with that with that league i've also then commentated for one hub racing for psgl's f11 in season 29 um i worked uh, for the nlr esports team for cpi on the crown e league um for evora on special team versus team events um, I've also worked for Drink Alchemy, who I'm running this in association with today, and Drink Alchemy um, have a special discount offer if uh, you use the code WEBO, that's W-E-B-B-O, and a big thank you to them, and also a special thank you to League Racing TV for allowing me to host tonight's uh, special event with you. Um, I've also um, raced with, uh, commentated over SAF1, UKSAs.com, Better Racing League, the F1 Republic, the Dutch Racing Alliance, um, Full Throttle Racing, um, and of course Invictus Racing League. By no means is that uh, least at all in our um, in our estimations. I've probably worked for Invictus more than anybody. And welcome if you're joining us. I hope you're looking forward to a good um, a good evening of racing. We're just collecting the last couple of drivers, and we'll be there for you very soon. We have seven 25% races for you. Um, there will be a five-minute break after the fourth race. Um, I'd like to just give a little mention to a couple of drivers here. Firstly, Mad Trav, who is the four-time SAF1 champion, and also to Banter Brandon, who is now the first double champion in um, the F1 Republic. And uh, also to um, drivers such as Max, um, who uh, who was the runner-up um, for two seasons of Invictus Racing League's F1 division. And also to uh, WOR Kieran, who you may better know as Silly Sly Guy. And just to honour him, we have uh, got some Monaco racing for you um, to, uh, to enjoy tonight. Well... I'm going to press the button. We are waiting for a driver or two, but they will have to join us in the next race because I can't wait any longer. And we're going to be uh, underway very shortly. Uh, and hopefully the drivers will now see um, that we are on the way. Uh, let me just give them a quick message. And we're underway. Uh, the drivers are going to select a setup and get going. Uh, and uh, as I say, do let me know who you're here to support. I can see Ghost, Brandon, Ivan are all watching. Uh, I see Kermit is here um, to uh, to enjoy tonight's racing. And anybody else, <laughs> anybody else uh, who uh, would like a shout out, do say hello. Otherwise will be underway. I'm looking forward to seeing, to talking to our drivers. We have a live chat party that they can contribute to as well. Yella says he wants our assists. I did tell the drivers 
that it's time to um, it it's time for a tough challenge, and these are the best of the best as far as I'm concerned. So let's uh, let's see what the drivers have got in hand. We will have a little formation lap as well, just to get going. <laughs> and uh, yeah, lots of people complaining, but um, this is all stars after all. And I did ex I did tell them to expect a tough challenge. Sometimes drivers won't drop the assists until they're forced to. So I'm hoping that <laughs> we will do we will adjust quickly. They have no excuses. They should know these tracks. And I've chosen the tracks today, with the exception of Monaco, uh, for, to be tracks that where overtaking is more than possible. And we'll be underway. And as uh, as Yella said, he's going to do his best, which is exactly the mindset I want to see. So. Um, just waiting on the players, choosing what setup to go for here in our first race in the Shanghai circuit in China. I'm just waiting for one more. And uh, thanks to Drink Alchemy who join us as well. As I say, thank you to, for their partnership and bringing two of the drivers in with us um, as well to compete. And the countdown has started. I can't wait to get going, guys. Uh, this feels like the culmination of a, a year's very hard uh, work. Uh, this is my 251st race um, uh, uh, in the commentary box and, uh, and hosting. So looking forward to seeing what everyone can do. And uh, do make sure that you have dropped a like on the video and uh, subscribe to this League Racing TV channel. A uh, big thank you to them for, as I say, allowing me to host this race on their channel, which is which is fantastic. Well, Yella, it looks like the um, it looks like we've uh, we've ended up with a slightly randomised first grid, but hopefully we will uh, be able to see um, what uh, what they have got underneath them um, throughout the rest of the race. We've got 15 guys who are ready and up for the challenge. Hopefully we will expect a couple more to join uh, shortly. Um, I can see there's Yella in the orange uh, multiplayer car, followed by Garof Yu in the gold and purple. We've got Yella just going on the inside of, uh, of turn eight, I think, losing the car. Uh, Bacon joins us with, um, with a um, Day of the Dead um, livery which is a little bit embarrassing because he's chosen one of the default ones. And then uh, then we've got Mad Trav, as I say, the four-time um, and only SAF1 champion. Ivan Tonsik, you may know as the Flying Croat in a yellow, predominantly yellow livery, as is Ghost, but he has red accents, so that's going to make life a little bit easier for us to tell the difference. There is Ghost, a uh, nice, tasteful uh, ketchup and mustard scheme. Uh, then we've got Banter Brandon in the pink, um, Zenon sponsored car and uh, there's something quite special with the uh, drink alchemy drivers got Palmer and um, and one more to come as well Scorenzi is, will be coming but uh, got Palmer racing in um, a special EDA livery Joe Hamster is black with a pink flash on him Debo appears to be virtually all black am I right? am I wrong? black with white numbers then Reshka um, it seems pinks and purples very, very popular here tonight. And we've got Ivan Beloff, um, who is the Invictus F2 champion, followed by Yamo and Burmeister at the back. Um, and I will go through their livery shortly, but very soon will be underway. They are getting hold, uh, getting into their grid positions. You can see the tyres that they've chosen. Um, just Madtrav, Got Palmer and Debo, um, who have chosen the mediums to start. Um, but very shortly will be underway for you. And looking forward to this, the first race of seven to crown our all-star champion. So waiting for the lights. The uh, last driver, it's Yella, who's going to be the last one to take up his position on pole. Doing it in style after making that slight error in turn eight. And he joins us. And hopefully, here we go. So we've got five lights. We are raising those revs and it's dropped the clutch and go, go, go. It's a voyage into the unknown for some of these drivers driving into the first corner without uh, the traction control or uh, racing line. But it's Geroff Yu who takes the lead, uh, can 
very uh, convincingly and we've got uh, Bacon coming down the inside of Yellow who is defending um, we've got side by side action between Banter Brandon and Ghost Brandon with a nice uh, launch out of turn 2 into turn 3 and 4 and then it's anybody's down into the hairpin but Geroff Yu is miles ahead of everybody down the inside tries to defend Yella and we've got Banter Brandon who sticks it on the outside which will become the inside for the next high speed left hander uh, impossible bacon struggling around with the broken um, not broken but the the uh, problematic lack of air on the front wing and then Benta Brandon then in fourth position we've got uh, Matrav who's dropped down seven from the initial start Ivan Beloff has made up uh what is that? Sorry, five places, as has Yamo. And it's uh, the, the three black cars all together as Ghost is uh, right on the back of Banter Brandon. But Geroff Yu is miles ahead of everybody, really enjoying that, uh, that early front row start. And he leads uh, away towards the very first major overtaking zone. Down we go into the turn 14 hairpin. Uh, Bacon defending. A late move there. Let's see. Anybody else making a move? Yes, indeed. We've got uh, Reshka um, and uh, defending from Matrav. Uh, Max in P11 as well, moving up the order. He's at one place. Matrav has gone down 10 in the black and pink livery car. Um, but uh, right at the front, we've got Brandon starting to get underneath the car, starting to feel the car a bit more now, especially without the... Um, Delightful racing line um, and uh, and traction control and all, all kinds of assist. We've turned everything off apart from ABS because we've got some controller users here who are struggling um, to make that final adjustment under the feel of the car. But nobody making a move in the top six down into the into the turn six. But we have got a move here. There is that beautiful um, drink alchemy livery from Got Palmer. That is the Miami Heat. Um, apparently the Miami Heat. Um, reminiscent livery but it's Joe Hamster who made up a place and got past Got Palmer in fact um, we've got Max right on the back here of Matrav who is uh, I have to say starting to struggle uh, that little bit and then we'll go back to have a look at the tyres this is a 25% race so we will see pit stops and a pit strategy under effect but so far, so good. We've got 15 drivers started the race. We've got 15 still. And then there's Bacon. Bacon having a problem. Bacon was a, a very early runner at the front of this uh, race. But uh, spinning again down into the tricky snail shell of turns 12 and 13. Um, and Bacon dropping down the order. Nicholas Boiter says, is he late? You are a little bit late, Nicholas. But you, by all means, can join us for the second race. That's absolutely available. Um, so there goes Ghost. We've got a, a, a wide running banter, Brandon. We've also got a wide running. I think that was Joe Hamster um, out in the back. But uh, so far, we're into lap three. Yamo with the new fastest lap of the race as well. And a penalty on the board for Madtrap, but only one penalty. What a fantastic uh, early three laps for the drivers. We've um, done our best to make sure that they can all keep racing. Um, but there, as, as I say, there will be no safety car um, to recover people's races or, or throw um, that into the mix. Um, it looks like we have got uh, Ivan following closely behind Ghost here in fifth place. Who is making a move? Well, Max seems to be getting the overtake round the outside of Reshka. Max, I was expecting a tricolore of, uh, of France or the Marseille colours, but um, it seems to have gone fairly, uh, fairly plain here. <laughs> And into the following corners we go down the uh, little uh, short straight here, the shortest straight on the Chinese track into turn 12. Um, frantic action, as you would expect. Yamo making another move here. Yamo getting past Ivan. Um, I think before the um, before the DRS was even enabled, Ivan has the DRS, but so does. Uh, Yamo, they'll go side by side, will they? But Yamo uh, tight on the brakes, making use of these soft tyres towards the end of the available grip levels on this, on this stint. But Geroff Yu is two and a half seconds in front of everybody else on this racetrack, followed by Yellow, Banter, Brandon, Ghost and Yamo we ride with. Behind him, Ivan um, has pitted now. Ivan in the pits. Then we've got Joe Hamster in sixth. Ivan deciding that an early pit stop is the way to go here. Um, and uh, hopefully, as I say, we're finding a couple of drivers uh, despite multiple, um, multiple 
uh, notifications about the race time uh, turning up late. But unfortunately, that means they miss points for the first race. Uh, looks like Burmeister might be about to make a move here on Gott Palmer. Burmeister is uh, in the burgundy and white livery car with gold accents. Is that gold? It is gold accents. It's a. Uh, it's one of the watches. And down he goes then into the hairpin of turn six. A nice, relatively clean move. Got Palmer really, um, really hampered on the way out of there. And Mac and it was uh, Ivan Beloff who snuck through. Ivan Beloff, the um, F2 champion of Invictus Racing League. Yellow flag we have. Uh, we have one of the black livery cars off the circuit. Who will that be? Looks like it's Matrav struggling and uh, going wide on turn eight, where we saw Yella have a problem through the formation lap. Looks like Max will have an opportunity here down towards the hairpin, but uh, Yamo, he continues to move forward. He's got Ghost making a move on Brandon. Uh, Yamo will try and get the best cut back here. We go three wide, but it's not quite enough. Yamo just slightly hot on the accelerator pedal. And is that anybody heading into the pits? Yes, there in comes uh, Yella from uh, fourth place. In comes Yamo from fifth. And uh, Max did indeed, I think, get past Joe Hamster into the hairpin in that, on that lap as well. So early lap early pit stops for the drivers and here comes Joe Hamster around the outside diving down the outside of the circuit that is a difficult place to make the move you're, you're putting yourself in a position where the drivers can um, really struggle to defend if they understeer wide <laughs> Reshka was mightily unimpressed by the fact that he was first to the um, first to the game oh massive uh, late breaking from Joe Hamster and or just avoided contact. Very, very uh, sporting of, of uh, Joe Hamster to just steer left when the corner was going to go right and manages to wrestle the car back under control. We've got Banter Brandon, uh, as I say, the new double F1 Republic champion who is currently in third place and within DRS range here of Ghost at the front. We've got Geroff Yu, some 5.1 seconds in front of everybody else. And we will... Um, hopefully see the uh, the next round of pit stops from these soft runners now i don't know if many of these drivers apart from those from dutch racing alliance will actually um, be in a position where they know how the 25 percent strategies and tire wear works they'll just have to feel the car here i gave them absolutely no warning about what the conditions of the race would be here banter brandon with a great move down the hairpin does either of them decide now is the time to pit Brandon does and so does Ghost that surprises me a little bit uh, Ghost wearing the rainbow stripe on the um, on the halo there for uh, Pride Month I believe and it through goes Max um, pass, passing the other drivers who are currently pitting and uh, it's scare off you from Max um, we've got Debo in third place got Palmer in fourth but Debo and got Palmer on the medium tyres they don't have to pit quite as soon as the rest of the drivers uh, Nicholas Boyter says a little late but he's here which is great so hopefully we will see Nicholas Boyter shortly he uh, races for the UKSAs.com Better Racing League um, that I've been uh, very pleased to be part of and here now comes got Palmer who had a problematic early phase of the race but is starting to uh, pick his way through the field he's now up behind Debo I think Gott Palmer was struggling with tyre life and a little step out of the rear end of the car on the way um, out of the hairpin was very uh, tricky to get back under control but uh, under control he has got it um, and so that is your order at the moment just get off you Max Debo and Gott Palmer at the front who have yet to pit um, but behind them um, we've also got Madtrav uh, who hasn't pitted as well, but uh, he is some way down the field at this pre at this current time. Geroff Yu's lead now 12 seconds, and I do hope this isn't a sign of things to come. Geroff Yu, miles ahead of everybody, but even if he does have that pace advantage, he's going to have to do the job from reverse grid um, throughout the evening's racing we've got lined up for you. Got Palmer trying to make a move but not quite close enough I think we were about to see a move here perhaps from Banta Brandon he's got the DRS on the back of Yella but no way through just the, these are your net podium sitters I think at this stage and we've got three penalties on the board but they hopefully won't affect the point scoring positions at this stage through they go through the final corner Banta Brandon and Yella and that's Max and Geroff you in the pits now so anything but a perfect pit stop or, uh, or a failure to make the undercut or overcut work 
will be the way uh, to go here for the drivers. Joe Hamster has DNF from the session. Joe Hamster out, and I didn't catch exactly why that is. Mad Trav as well. That hopefully those drivers will be uh, willing to join us and talk us through what 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 went down. There's got halfway point of the race, and all but the top two have now pitted. Um, it is Banter Brandon, one quarter of a second behind Yella. Um, but some four seconds behind Gerof Yu, whose uh, lead obviously has been cut after the after the uh, the pit stops that we've just witnessed. This is the tightest battle on the grid, and it's Brandon versus Yella. These guys completely unfamiliar with one another, racing totally different leagues. So uh, always interesting to see them in comparison, and it's it's great for me to just uh, to to look at. Uh, all the drivers I've seen over the uh, over the last year and compare them. Yella got uh, had a problem going into turn 12 and 13. Uh, ended up wide. Looked to be lagging ever so slightly. And um, despite the fact that he told me how great his internet connection was beforehand, we'll keep an eye on Yella. It could have been uh, from the perspective of Brandon as well. But uh, Ghost, oh, leaning on the brakes. Uh, Ghost is an F1 driver, uh, Division F1 in uh, the Invictus Racing League. Um, and one of the pit driver's pits in front, that's Debo going into the pit. So we've got Gott Palmer in the lead of this race, um, but only uh, 0.8 of a second. And it's, uh, well, take a picture. We had Gott Palmer in the lead of the race. Unfortunately, um, he has now slipped back. He's hong hanging on to these, uh, these tires, um, these medium tires, longer than anybody else and trying to make this one work, but got Palmer um, dropping back. He just needs to consolidate his position now, though, and hope that the other drivers slow themselves down, fighting as they are throughout the grid. Uh, hopefully, Joe Hamster will join us and uh, tell us what's going on. Um, and uh, good to hear from Charles Palmer as well. Um, hope, uh, I don't know if you're stateside or, or, or my side of the pond, um, but uh, thank you for joining us, and uh, it certainly made your um, your your driver preference known. If we couldn't guess by the uh, the surname similarity, so Brandon right behind Ghost Gerof Yu is now 2.1 seconds in the lead of Gott Palmer, who has yet to pit. With Ghost in uh, net second place here, Brandon has a lot of good. Uh, overspeed here, he's got the DRS the overspeed should work because they're only using those preset um, setups and he's got the car fully alongside down into the hairpin at turn 14 oh but who, who was that sneaking up the inside, it was Yamo taking advantage of a beautiful um, move, Brandon left the door open, it was able to go three into that corner and it's Yamo who got both of them fantastic opportunistic move from Yamo as uh, Brandon looks to be making the move, he'll be uh, he'll try and sneak up the inside. Will he have a problem going around the outside here? Uh, but not quite. <laughs> drink, drink alchemy says the Palmer gang. <laughs> but uh, Nicholas Boyster says, oh no, pre preset setups. Well, I probably shouldn't have told you that, should I? But it has been the talk of of the driver chat up until now. Uh, Gerolf you still in the lead. God Palmer still hasn't pitted. He's relying on the um, on the grid. The the uh, field spread to extend and have a really nice quick um, quick car at the end of this stint. Debo has pitted for the soft tyres now as well and he's running those softs fairly long. So we have Joe Hamster and Mad Trav Sadi who left us um, early but they will be uh, at the front of the next race should they want to do that. Um, uh, hopefully the drivers will be able to join us on uh, live on chat as well soon. Lap 9 and Gerof Yu's lead is effectively 8 seconds from Yamo because Gott Palmer's yet to pit. Yamo starting to stretch slightly from Brandon, but Brandon has got the DRS. He's half a second behind Yamo here with the best DRS profit. And Yamo is in fact derating with the ERS down the main straight. Brandon is, uh, is known for his racecraft and his ability to keep the... Um, keep the ERS live towards the end of a race as well. Looks like Ivan Beloff and Burmeister having a little battle there with Ivan Beloff getting down into the chicane. Burmeister has been joining me on commentary over Ivan Beloff's F2 races. Um, Ivan Beloff always joins us for the F1 races in Invictus Racing League, so it's, um, it's great to see those guys on track together. Uh, no move from Brandon at the front there against Yamo, and still no pit stop from Gott Palmer with 
uh, nine laps complete. We're on to the tenth lap of this race. Uh, of only 14 because it is a 25% distance race. Looks like Bacon is uh, having a little bit of a conversation here on track with Reshka, who has um, got in front. There goes Bacon. And it looks like Reshka, who made the move. So can Brandon stay within sight of Yamo, who is now closing on Got Palmer qu at quite an alarming rate. That's the difference in tyres for you. Uh, the field continues to spread. It could be that Got Palmer might be able to get out still in the point scoring positions here after his next pit stop, after his only pit stop. And I did, it is very nice, um, a very nice livery on there. Well, let me know at any point through tonight what your opinion of the liveries is and who, who's got the best design. But Yamo got right up underneath Got Palmer. Yamo with the DRS, but so has Brandon got the DRS as well. And will Brandon do to Yamo what he did to him down into the into the hairpin? Nice tight line there. Yamo leaving space on the exit, but Brandon, um, it is really tough to accelerate the car out of turn for, uh, 14 on uh, 15 on the inside line there, especially as uh, with no traction control, of course, um, as I mentioned. Uh, but uh, Yamo holding on here. Brandon very, very close. Two tenths is what's in it. And Got Palmer is in the pits. He's been passed by Ivan uh, Tonsik, that is. Ivan Beloff um, is in P9 and catching and passing Got Palmer. So Burmeister as well. Got Palmer down in 11th at this stage. Hasn't rejoined the race yet. I think he's going to rejoin in, in last place, but on the fastest tyres. So he's definitely going to be one to watch throughout this uh, the course of this race. Get off you. His lead is nearly eight seconds. Make that exactly eight seconds right now. At, uh, after 11 laps, he's on another planet around here in China. Let's hope we just got him, got him a nice uh, favourite track for the first race. Um, but uh, we have got six further races after this one. All being well to uh, to take uh, to, to manage to crown our first All Star champion. Brandon getting a little bit crossed up going through turn. 13 there and uh, just struggling on traction he'll be able to catch back uh, towards Yamo with the DRS of course um, I will have a look as well it looks like Got Palmer has got past uh, in, um, Impossible Bacon early doors very quickly and there he goes all the way by but he's got a 2.6 second gap now to catch the next car in front which is Reshka and, a, and an extra then 4 seconds to go before he can get into the points um, in this first race of our champions, mini championship here tonight. Down we go then into turn one with Brandon still not unable to make a move. What a, what's Burmeister and Ivan Beloff back up to? Uh, Ivan hasn't managed to um, to gap Burmeister here. Burmeister with um, a very nice looking liveried car. I have to say, but I've got my suspicions. Is that one of the, the defaults that I haven't seen myself? Um, Joe Hamster says he was all over the place. Uh, I'm sure you'll adjust pretty quickly, Joe. Fourth gear uh, on the car of Burmeister to get himself out of turn three successfully. And down we go into the hairpin of turn six then. Again, you can see the grip starting to, uh, to disappear from the car. Got Palmer's uh, gap now down to 2.2 on the better tyres. Further up the grid, we've got Brandon, who is six tenths, make that five and a half tenths behind Yamo with a good exit now. A uh, good exit on the car. Let's have a look at the difference in ERS deployment. Brandon closes, closes. They're about even on on the uh, on the ERS, and Brandon right up close, but he can't quite get the job done towards the end of the this straight. Gets a nice straighter exit out of the corner out of the hairpin and now he'll be hoping for a good uh, a good burst of overspeed here we're on the penultimate lap of this first race Geroff Hughes lead 8.6 seconds and Brandon with a great overspeed but he just can't get the job done on Yamo as they close in towards the uh, decreasing snail shell circle uh, turn of turn one and two and there's no way through just yet there we've got Burmeister six tenths of a second behind uh, Ivan Beloff and Debo a similar gap but behind Burmeister. A nice three-way battle going on, but it seems to all be for the podium here. Banta Brandon versus Yamo Buterji.
Lap 13, it's Geroff Yu from Yamo and Brandon. Then comes Ghost in fourth, the, the, the front three. Bit of a class of the field at the moment. And um, we'll see uh, Banter, Brandon and, and Yamo go down this main straight here. Uh, I don't think Brandon has been this close. He has no ERS to, dis to, uh, to spend. Yamo defends to the inside, tries to put the squeeze on the braking zone. Understandably, Brandon a little bit nervous to go for the move there. And let's look at these these guys, these three uh, battling for eighth place, led by Ivan Beloff, Burmeister and Debo. I think uh, Burmeister might get the job done here. Ivan Beloff hanging around on the inside. A little shake to the outside and Burmeister completely outbreaks himself. Too late on the brakes and uh, you've got to give him props for trying. Uh, he definitely had a good go at that one. Uh, looks like got Palmer and Reshka battling now down into in P11. Got Palmer's not been able to make the moves to, uh, work with, on those soft tyres. Just not been able to make the best out of them. Debo and, Bur and Burmeister swapping places, but it's Brandon down into turn five who can't quite get past Yamo all race long so far. They've been ding dong between the two of them. So six tenths of a second separating them. We are on the final lap of this first race with Geroff Yu. 9.6 seconds. I think he'll clear 10 before the end of this race with these two battling as hard as they are. Brandon is the hunter in this scenario. He'll be going uh, going for the move down into the hairpin, I'm sure. Come what may. Um, he'll be hoping to try and get the inside line, but I don't know if he'll manage to do it. Geroff Yu is almost down into that uh, position and I'm hoping that I can uh, see Geroff you cross the line and see what goes on between these two but uh, Brandon is nowhere near en close enough here comes Geroff you then one corner to go and he wins the first race he wins China and congratulations to him Yamo will hold on I think uh, versus Brandon let's see them cross the line Yamo in second Brandon gets the third place so the podium for the first race is Geroff Yu Baterje, uh, Yamo Baterje and Brandon and then Ghost with a uh, clear and away clear fourth place. Yella took pole position into fifth and we see Max, uh, Ivan Tonsik and Ivan Beloff finishing line of stern seventh and eighth I think after penalties. We'll have to wait to see. No, Debo got both of them. It's Max sixth, Debo seventh, Ivan Tonsik eighth, then Ivan Beloff ninth, Burmeister tenth. Quickly beaten by uh, got Palmer after penalties. He managed to make that long, different strategy uh, work to get into the points for the first race. Um, so great stuff for the early guys. Uh, Yamo and Brandon enjoying the back and forth between the two of them. And Yamo gets himself the driver of the race uh, for the first one. So brilliant stuff from him. And there's your podium for the first race. But... There's six more to go. <laughs> Yella says, all the no assist users at the top. Well, I mean. I'm going to make sure I can invite one of the drivers um, who didn't seem to get one the first time out before we head to Bahrain for the next race. I'll just take you through the current order. There's Garof Yu. With the fastest lap as well. So maximising his points. Yamo, Banter, Brandon, Ghost, Yella, Max, Debo, the two Ivans. Then got Palmer in 10th. Got the final point um, from 8th. Then Burmeister, Reshka. Uh, uh, all finished the race. We had Bacon, Joe Hamster and Mad Trav. Unfortunately, DNF from the race. I'm afraid I didn't see Bacon uh, lose us from the race. But there we go. The standings, of course, will reflect exactly the positions of the race. One. Um, and I will now do my best to try and uh, and invite the next driver as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we'll have some more drivers joining us. We did have, um, I think it was, um, 20 drivers say that they could make it. I lost one uh, this morning um, who uh, had a late change of plans. But hopefully, we're on our way to our next race shortly. I can't remember now if we go via the lobby or not. If we do, hopefully I'll be able to give the guys a little bit of a um, uh, a couple of minutes there just to get themselves organised. 
Um, so let me just make sure that I can invite one more driver. We have been joined by Nicholas Boiter, which is great to see. He's got himself a uh, a car uh, sorted. Just trying to get everybody organised. I've been told, I think, that Simon Palmer might not be able to make it, um, which is sad. I was hoping to to, to see him, but uh, apparently didn't realise what the time was for the game. I'm going to give it just one more minute here for the drivers. They are all obeying the um, the request that I asked for. Um, uh, so Scorenzi would like an invite as well. So. Uh, I will make sure I get him an invite. Uh, just uh, a little bit of admin, unfortunately. Again, I must say a big thank you to League Racing TV for the uh, hosting of this event on the channel. And... Uh, to, also to Drink Alchemy, who are helping supply some drivers for us. So hopefully I'm going to get uh, the invites sorted and we'll just wait one more minute here. Nicholas Boiter asking if he did he see Monaco. Um, yes, we are going to go racing around Monaco in, um, in a hope that we will see Kieran from WOR join us. Hopefully we'll get uh, the next driver involved. <laughs> and Ben uh, Ben says um, Ben's here to enjoy the racing so hi Ben um, I don't know I haven't committed to not doing Tuesday nights if you're going to be there or, or are you telling me that you're not Ben going to be racing at Invictus next season <laughs> Brandon asking for line on he's finished third without line I think we can probably make do with the settings that we've got on the on the racing so far like I say, we have reverse grid. And again, just give it another minute here. Um, and uh, let's just see. Uh, someone else would like an invite, which I'm happy to do. So I'll just give it uh, another few seconds. <laughs> so I've got about four or five drivers consistently asking for um, uh, for a change to the conditions, but uh, I'm not going to bend on this. <laughs> I'm more than uh, more than happy to uh, remind them that uh, that it was uh, they were asked to prepare themselves for a tough challenge. So we'll be on the way for you very shortly. Hopefully, we will get uh, one more driver with us. But there's Nicholas Boiter as well. Not quite sure why everyone is so late to the party. Uh, but we will be underway there. You can see, obviously, the standings at this stage. Top 10 scoring points. Got Palmer managing to score there. Um, I'm hoping that... Uh, did I hear... I didn't get Russell on, on stream. Uh, but... Uh, <laughs> okay, I think 
it's good enough to get underway. Let's get ourselves going so we don't waste any more time. So race two will be with you very shortly. Okay, countdown has started. We have uh, been joined in addition to who we had earlier. We've been joined by Nicholas Boiter from Latin Formula Racing and by Kermit as well, um, who has been uh, fantastic in supporting us joining this, uh, joining this one. <laughs> Joe, said, Joe said, I didn't even think about racing line when I said no assists. Okay, <laughs> well, I'm sorry about it. Um, sorry, not sorry, I have to say. We're going to Bahrain next then for the next race. <laughs> Ivan said um, his cats were constantly asking him mid-race for food. <laughs> so feed your cats, folks. Feed your cats before racing. <laughs> So just waiting for the drivers, of course, to uh, yeah, just waiting for them to select one of the five strategy options. Max says he's on pole, um, and hi to Ryan. Good to uh, good to see Ryan here. Apologies, it's a very active chat. Uh, in the driver room as well as in the live chat, of course. Reshka telling me that it isn't a reverse grid. Hmm. I'm not quite sure why it's not a reverse grid. I selected reverse grid. Everybody saw I selected. So yes, it looks to be that, uh, well, I'm not quite, I can't really make sense of this one um, as to why the grid has, has worked out this way. Um, I did select reverse grid. So Max will get the pole for some random reason. <laughs> Trav saying, knowing me, we might have a full wet Bahrain. Well, <laughs> we do have uh, we do have uh, dynamic weather on. There is Kermit joining us um, to uh, to take on this grid. We've got Banter Brandon and Garof Yu starting towards the front of the grid. Uh, bizarrely, I will double check that setting whether it held or not um, but uh, I will correct it next time we hit, we hit the lobby if possible Yama will feel very aggrieved there at the bottom of the order, um, but uh, plenty of, uh, of race. 14 laps to go in this race to make sure. Kieran says his internet died, unfortunately. <sighs> That's such a shame. I really was hoping to see what Kieran can do on, on tracks other than Monaco, and of course uh, on Monaco especially. 
Uh, Bacon and Joe Hamster have uh, had problems on the first lap, on the formation lap here. Uh, strange to see that so early. But medium tyres are on Yella, Bacon, Burmeister, Ivan Tonsik, uh, Nicholas Boiter and Got Palmer. Got Palmer doubling down on that uh, long strategy that he had on the previous one. Geroff Utes that will start in fourth place um, and try to extend his lead in the championship uh, points order. So far, hi to Matthias who joins us to uh, cheer on Kermit. And we'll be underway for you very soon indeed. I think China will probably represented a longer than average first race as we uh, deal with a few teething problems and a little bit of a, of a late start. Uh, but here we go then, lights building, revs building with them. And it's dropped the clutch and go, go, go. A beautiful start away from the line from Banta Brandon who had streaks off into the lead. And there goes Yella hitting the wall and uh, knocking off the front wing. Geroff Yu down the inside of Banta Brandon who tries to steer in. But Geroff Yu late on the brakes. Brandon will have a second opportunity down here into the uh, run towards turn four. Uh, but he, it was him, uh, Geroff Yu and Debo who made a good early start. Nice, clean fighting so far. What a late move that was from Ivan Beloff as he takes two drivers, uh, the first of which was Kermit and Joe Hamster, and they continue to fight side by side. Joe and Kermit left and right as the, as the uh, switchbacks continue. Joe Hamster defending. Little rub on the inside edge of the back wheel, but uh, no way through. And it is Geroff, Ubanta, Brandon, Debo and Max at the front of the grid gapping Ivan Beloff there. By 1.7 seconds, um, there goes uh, so Yella down. 12 seconds he's lost as a result of losing that front wing. He's got a long way to go before pitting. Joe Hamster will continue to fight and. Ivan Beloff goes very wide. Joe Hamster tipped into the barriers. Joe, um, unfortunately, just getting on the inside, getting a little bit of uh, damage there and struggling away through the corner. Hopefully things will improve for Joe as Ghost gets past Kermit. Uh, Kermit slipping back on the uh, first lap here. Madtrap, one-tenth of a second behind Kermit as well and we'll uh, have a look into the final breaking zone of the track. There goes Kermit washing out wide behind Ghost and Madtrap doesn't need a second invitation to scream on through. Banzer Brandon is seven tenths of a second here behind Geroff Yu and is hoping to make it a tighter fight between the drivers at the front of the order this time without having to start further back. Max uh, slow away from turn two um, and Banzer Brandon trying to close in on the back. We've got Ivan Beloff uh, followed closely by Yamo, who has made up so many places. Yamo was dead last, and he'll get another one there thanks to Ivan Beloff washing out wide in the exit of turn four. Who got Matrav? Uh, sorry, we got yeah Matrav screaming past. We've got Reska just behind as well. There goes uh, Matrav getting Ivan Beloff early doors. Kermit has he managed to recover some speed, or is he still losing places? He's lost one there to Reska. And he's also going to be staring in his mirrors, looking uh, at the sight of Burmeister coming up close behind him. Down they go into that really, really tricky turn 10. One of the toughest uh, corners on the calendar, turn 10. It's Geroff Yu in the lead by one second now from Banter Brandon Debo and Max, who is within DRS range before before the DRS is enabled. But a tight battle is going on here for the tail end of the points. Uh, it is Reshka, Kermit, Burmeister and Ghost. Down then into the final hairpin they go. The final corner, sorry, they go. I'm thinking of China again. And here comes Ghost then, locked up tight behind Burmeister. These two race together week in, week out in Invictus Racing League and Ghost without the benefit of DRS. He's going to streak super late on the brakes he's going bowling but he just avoids contact ghost sideways Burmeister manages to recover that one but ghost did manage to get one driver he got Kermit in the end Nicholas Boiter making his way uh, forward as well Nicholas Boiter on the inside here of uh, Kermit who goes wide in turn four again and he's really struggling with turn four is Kermit so struggling around we've got uh, what four five orange and yellow cars on the circuit i asked them to go for bright colors but uh, many of the drivers taking that too literally and ending up on the same uh, same <laughs> basic color side by side go ghost and burmeister but it's Geroff you 2.2 seconds in the lead here from brandon 
Uh, Debo, another 2.1 seconds further back with Max in fourth. The, the medium runners really struggling here in these early laps in Bahrain. Yella has gone on to hard tyres for the monster of all undercuts. He's going to attempt here. Looks like Debo's had a bit of drama. Debo uh, losing the car on the way out of turn at 13. So he... Uh, I don't think he's got damage on the car, but he's losing places as he picks up uh, tyre temperature. Once again, he'll go wide, wide through the final corner, just expecting the car to break with the same performance that it was before the spin. Uh, but the tyre's not doing particularly well. We've got a first pit stop, and that's Debo in the pits. Uh, Debo dropping down into the pits to uh, change those tyres. Presumably he's flat spotted. Go uh, goes down into the hairpin alongside Reshka. Ghost and Reshka again likewise uh, racing together in Invictus Racing League's F1 division down into turn four they'll go side by side I do like this mustard and ketchup livery from Ghost uh, I don't know if he'll thank me for calling it that but that's what I see when I see that So we'll take stock now. We'll have a look at uh, places gained and lost. It is 11 up for Matrav, 13 up for Yamo. These guys absolutely moving forward through the uh, through the race. Fast starts were always, always a hallmark of Yamo's races in PSGL F11 in season 29. And restarts as well. He was always a monster. Nicholas Boyton moving up two places. Reshka up seven. Fantastic ascendancy, especially for the soft tyre running drivers. The medium runners really struggling. Remember Yella down there in 17th at the moment, struggling around on hard tyres, but uh, we'll be able to go and go. I don't think the hards are going to work for him. I think he could, probably could have uh, run softs for the bulk of the remainder of the race, but he had to pick one of the two options, of course, to be on a different tyre strategy and just stop the once. Yella gets a five-second penalty for corner cutting. Reshka with the DRS now on Ghost and we'll get the overspeed down towards the first corner hairpin and we'll need a good exit to try and defend from a retaliatory move that uh, tends to come. There's Bacon out of the session. Bacon has retired unfortunately uh, from 13th position and drops down the order as, uh, as you would imagine. Reshka leaving good racing room on the inside. That means he'll have the favoured traction zone. There's the wreckage of Bacon's car and Yamo's car. Yamo out of the race. Unfortunately, that is Yamo who was doing so well. And it's, it's, a, it's a crash for Reshka and Ghost. I think that might have been a reset track from, from Reshka there. Unfortunately, um, it's certainly frowned on in my world. Ghost recovering, but they obviously came to blows. Scott Palmer is in 10th place right now. Making a move on the inside of Reshka. Trying to leave enough room, but it's uh, difficult. It's a very narrow corner on the circuit. Gerof Yu still in the lead by five seconds here. So the order as it stands, the top three have separated really on the grid here. And we've got uh, Madtrav catching as well. He's in fifth place. Then comes Ivan Belov in, in, sorry, Madtrav in fourth. Ivan Belov in fifth, 1.4 seconds behind. There's Reshka going a little bit wide and Ghost uh, and Reshka continue to battle. They both come into the pits to just ensure that they will be next to each other, uh, come what may. And we've got penalties on the board already for Ivan Belov, Ivan Tonsik, uh, Debo and Joe Hamster with Yella on an additional five seconds, so eight seconds for him. Uh, pit stops on the go. And uh, we've got Ivan Tonsik starting to catch Burmeister here as well. Yamo says it sounds a bit confused as to what went down, or he's uh, just not impressed with what went down. Ivan continues to chase Burmeister. Both of these drivers on the medium tyre, but uh, I'm not sure the strategy has been working relative to the top two. Here comes Ivan then, shapes to the inside. Burmeister will leave room at the inside because he wants that switch back inside line for the next corner. Stay off those curbs, boys. They're very slippery, treacherous stuff. Burmeister holding the middle of the road as he has every right to do. 
but you feel only a matter of time before Ivan Tonsic gets bassed here now. Will they pit to pass? So pit to do the opposite. Will Ivan decide to do the opposite of Burmeister? Burmeister, no pit stop here. Ivan stays out as well. And Joe Hamster has retired for the second race. Unfortunately, here comes Ivan down on Burmeister while other drivers are pitting. These guys go up to third and fourth position, but who will be third out of this one? Burmeister with a massive wide swing out wide on the turn one, trying to get the best possible uh, grip on the way out of turn two and three. And he will be able to draw alongside Ivan Tonsik and get the inside line into turn four. They will go side by side once again. Ivan gives up the position, sensibly tries to switch back, but doesn't quite time it to perfection. And a little nudge in the rear. Uh, he gives to Burmeister, who holds on. But looks like Burmeister going wide here. Ivan down the outside uh, into turn eight and nine. Sorry, turn eight there. And we go towards turn nine now. Ivan trying to hang on here for all he can. He's got the DRS open behind Burmeister, but I don't think it's going to be enough to draw alongside once again. He needs to, to uh, save everything he's got for the next opportunity or potentially uh, try and pit to pass. Geroff Yu, 15 seconds in front of Madtrav now after the first pit stops. Looks like Yella has had a, a drama coming out of the final corner as well. Yella was slow on the track map. Um, nice and easy to spot which one is Yella. And into the pits, seems, comes one of the black cars. It is Madtrav. Geroff Yu has stayed out, stayed out past the halfway point of this race. And uh, we've got Burmeister and Ivan Tonsik now up into third and fourth, having yet to pit into the pits, though, comes Burmeister. So Ivan decides to do the opposite of Burmeister with, it, with the hope of getting the overcut. But on medium tyres, that's going to be a distinct challenge for him with no DRS on the car in front. Ivan goes a little bit wide through turn one. And then we've got those pit stops from Madtrav and Burmeister. Where will they feed out again? Nicholas Boita, a beautiful car livery. We haven't really spent a lot of time looking at Nicholas Boita's car. Metallic gold scheme. Uh, looks like Ghost trying to get that uh, slipstream back again on Nicholas Boita. But Nicholas Boita breaking hard down into turn one. A little bit of lag there, but we are going transatlantic with Nicholas Boita's connection. So has to be expected great to see drivers from so many countries represented tonight as Yella gets out of everybody's way very uh, sporting of, of Yella but Banta Brandon picks up a three second penalty which is most unusual for him but so has Ivan Tonsic got the same penalty so won't stop him competing uh, looks like Nicholas Boiter does have the pace edge over Ghost further back we've got Debo fighting Reshka here Geroff Yu has his first penalty of the evening, a three-second penalty for going over track limits. So he's obviously pushing hard. Uh, he's got a 28-second 20, gap to second place, who has still yet to pit. Banta Brandon gets passed as Ivan pits, and we'll see where um, Ivan comes out relative to Burmeister that he was fighting with previously, as the drivers uh, have uh, split across the field due to accidents and incidents. Uh, Burmeister then got Palmer's in the pits and as is to Ivan Tonsik for a five lap sprint on the soft tyres towards the end. Uh, looks like Burmeister will be right alongside and that will make Ivan's heart sink as he closes in and finds himself exactly where he, uh, he was two laps ago before these pit stops. So Ivan still with the job to do on Burmeister in front for the sixth place as things stand. Uh, medium tyres seem to be working pretty well uh, for second, third, fourth and fifth place drivers. Banter Brannan, Max, uh, Matrav and Ivan Beloff. Uh, Debo and Reshka still very close to one another on the same or similar strategies. So one quarter of a second between Reshka and Debo, but it's 29 seconds between Geroff Yu and Banta Brandon at the front of this field. Uh, Geroff Yu needs to start from the back, doesn't he? I'll try and ensure that that happens if the reverse grid doesn't work for the next one. 
So Debo, 0.3 of a second, and Debo makes a small error, but it's it's big enough to spin going into the difficult turn 12. That's the second time we've seen a driver go wrong there, and Debo decides to retire from that one, um, unfortunately, and his AI parks up the car in a safe position. We won't get um, safety cars. They have been turned off. Because quite frankly, after a year of commentary, I am sick to the back teeth of seeing that thing. So <laughs> I've decided, executive decision, turn that off. Well, Ivan Tonsik has the um, DRS here going for a very late move here into turn four. Burmeister running wide. But Ivan with now Nicholas Boiter right behind him. Ivan getting the hurry up. Let's see where Nicholas Boiter is relative. Uh, will Ivan go for a late lunge? He does. But he's compromised his line, his entry and exit. And they stagger one, two, three as they head towards that difficult turn. Nine, ten, breaking sector. Ivan trying, trying to hold on here. Burmeister, it's getting very, very busy. But no way through. And they still stay as they were on the previous lap. These three locked together in battle. Geroff Yu has pitted finally to make his pit stop and... Uh, we can get a more representative view around the outside tries Nicholas Boiter and that leaves uh, Ivan Tonsik on the inside he corrects the car but he's lost two or three places down to 10th is Ivan uh, what does he do here he's waiting for a safe time to uh, rejoin and let the tyres cool down I think um, so very sensible but Nicholas Boiter now will he be able to do more on the back of Burmeister than uh, Ivan could do earlier certainly got a good advantage with the DRS down into turn one he comes and should be well ahead here Brandon gets another penalty up at the front here is now 6.2 seconds behind Geroff Yu um, who has a three second if memory serves Max in third good to see Max up there um, and it's Nicholas Boyter defending on the inside now of turn four because with this excellent DRS interchange that we have in Bahrain uh, Burmeister could come straight back at him. Uh, Debo un unhappy with his race, but uh, hopefully able to um, reset and go again. So Garoff Yu, 6.4 seconds, as I said before, in front of Banter, Brandon and Max on lap 11. Matrav in fourth, looking for a podium, uh, but Max might be within... Uh, Banter Brandon's um, penalty delta got Palmer has made his way up to 8th and is 2.8 seconds 2.9 seconds behind Burmeister Brandon retires from the session Brandon out of the race uh, where did Brandon go wrong he's gone into the pits so uh, presumably picked up some sort of damage Brandon has pitted and is out of the race now if that's a that might be a disco and his AI has pitted for him but that is heartbreak for Brandon down uh, he will go down to the foot of the field of course down to P13 uh, net Burmeister and Nicholas Boyter continue to fight but that uh, was a surprise for me to see Brandon out of the race Lap 12, uh, and Nicholas Boiter continues to fight with Burmeister, although that gap looks to be extending slightly at the moment. Yeller should be able to get himself up to P12 at least here, despite that difficult start. Uh, Yamo asking what track is next. Next track is Saudi Arabia. And that would be a great place to have a reverse grid, won't it? Um, I've tried to pick... Um, <laughs> I've tried to pick the, uh, the, the tracks to make overtaking more than possible trying to deselect races at uh, tracks where overtaking is very very difficult with the exception of course of Monaco it wouldn't be a Webo event without Monaco uh, it looks like Madrav closing on the back of Max significantly here let's have a look at the penalty situation as well Madrav does need to pass Max and extend the lead but he's also going to be wary Whoa, very late on the brakes from Madrav. Maybe Max catching him out there. 
into turn four. Matrov was catching very quickly. And it looks like Nicholas Boycher and Burmeister have finally settled that battle. So it looked like uh, Brandon um, had to leave for family situation, uh, but we hope to be able to get him back if we can. It is Matrav closing on the back of Max, but even if he gets the job done, uh, Max doesn't have a penalty. Geroff Hughes' gap is now nearly 12 seconds um, away at the front of this one. He's now put another lap, I think, on Yella and uh, Matrav getting a little bit Larry coming out of the final corner he's got the DRS Max should give this one up relatively straightforward I mean he can see that the that Matrav has a penalty Matrav going late on the brakes once again Max just calmly slides back back past Geroff Yu is in the lead of this race um, and he has a penalty but it's still um, nearly nearly the same gap he had in the previous race Yeller says he can't even get a fastest lap with new softs on. That was his plan. And Yamo getting a little bit, uh, a little bit scared of Saudi Arabia um, for the next race. There's Yeller slowing again just to let drivers by, I think. But it uh, seems to be that it'll be gay or a few. Ivan Tonsic retires from the session. Ivan Tonsic out of the race, unfortunately. He's gone into the pits. Um, so he will not uh, finish as highly as he might have done. Gay off you. Um, is uh, absolutely bossing this and I will manually make sure that he doesn't start the race anywhere near the front in the next one. It's Geroff Yu then who will take the win. He will cross the line and win the second race of tonight's series. Uh, Geroff Yu uh, with the new fastest lap as well secures the final position. So Max defends from Matrav to the line but Max will get it Whatever happens, Max was second place and Matrav in third. Uh, great race from these guys. It's a very tight one between Ivan Beloff and Nicholas Boiter. 0 0.2, 0 0.3 of a second separating the two drivers. It's going to be, is it Ivan Beloff who he just slips be behind Nicholas Boiter who gets fourth place in the order as we finish up here. Um, Ivan Beloff in fifth, Burmeister in sixth, Ghost in seventh. There's Gott Palmer, Reschke and Kermit. Um, as things finish up, I'll just take a quick picture so that I can make sure I get the grid order as it should be in the next race. Uh, but unfortunately, it was Ivan Tonzik who went out of the uh, of the race in the final lap of the race, and I think Ivan joins us now to uh, to let us know what happened. Uh, my unluckiness, basically. Oh no! <laughs> my incapability of, of driving when some some things go wrong. Basically, I was, uh, I don't know if you noticed, but I was fighting with Burr and uh, Nicolas Boita yep. after my pit stop. And uh, basically, yeah, things went wrong. I was trying to play, play tactical with Burr, but uh, unfortunately, uh, on the DRS on the down to turn four, I did, I couldn't make it stick, I couldn't make the move stick. Then uh, I was going side by side with Nicolas on, on that deadly curb section. Uh, I think it's <laughs> turn, turn 13. I really hate how the spin curves around here, uh, and uh, I basically spun. I think I knocked off uh, my wing. It was either either then or later on, but yeah, I returned pace, not realizing the final lap. Maybe I'll start. Uh, I think close to the front for the next race. I, I don't like that, but maybe it's, good. it's a good change for uh, then starting uh, close to the midfield or at the back because it was carnage uh, there. <laughs> Well, I'm going to do my best. It, it seems like the reverse grid option isn't working particularly well, so I will have to do it manually. Uh, Geroff, you wins uh, 28.515 from Max and Madtrav. Max is very happy with that, which is great to see. Uh, we've got Nicholas Boyter, Ivan Beloff, um, Burmeister, Ghost, Gott Palmer, Reschke and Kermit finishing the race. Uh, we just heard from Ivan, Yella, Brandon, um, uh, Debo and Joe Hamster as well as Yamo and Bacon, who did not finish that race. It was very close. Let's look at the standings as well. 
Um, Gareth, you of course in the lead with a double maximum points haul right now. Uh, from Max and Yamo. And then comes uh, Ghost, Brandon, Madtrav, Nicholas, Boiter, all within uh, a shout of the lead here. We've got yet to score Bacon and Joe Hamster, unfortunately, um, with their um, their DNFs. And I'm going to need to rebuild this uh, this grid for you very shortly. Okay, so just bear with me one moment while I rebuild the uh, race order for us, um, and we'll be underway for you very soon. Okay, apologies, it takes a few minutes to get this underway for you. Okay, we're going to Saudi Arabia very sh very shortly. We're just going to take a one minute uh, break and be back for you very soon. Okay, we're back and we'll be underway for you for the next race very, very soon. And we're heading to Saudi Arabia for the next challenge for these drivers. So far, it's looking good for Geroff Yu, but we'll see um, how he... Uh, how he can contends from starting from the back. <laughs> Nicholas Boyter has decided to choose a new livery, which is cool. Um, let's go, guys.
we've got Ivan saying that if he finishes with four points, he'll be happy um, with this one. Um, we hopefully will see um, we will see Yerofu at some point to have a chat. Um, Anthony says Jeddah plus no line equals DNF. Well, let's hope the guys can uh, can do a little bit better. Um, we've got lots of people complaining. We got, uh, but it's not really fair to drivers who can um, who can ride without uh, without any of the assists. And uh, as I've mentioned before, um, we do try to exist here in a situation where there are no ex uh, assists. Um, because I do feel like sometimes you've got to force people out of their comfort zone and uh, often you'll find people quite like um, uh, find that they can um, cope without the assists when forced to but let's see um, so uh, who else have we got here Ivan Beloff who's saying he's uh, had time to watch the YouTube time trial guide for the, for the track <laughs> and that's why we need to get a move on but if I'm going to have to build the the grid each time, it's going to take me a little bit of time. Um, so we should be there for you. We've got that little uh, visual glitch on the pit lane in Saudi here. Places to watch out for the turn 13 uh, after a short uh, little straight between uh, between 12 uh, turn the f fast switchbacks of turns uh, four through 12, and then it's a slipstream battle all the way down to turn 27 um, for the drivers but uh, hopefully we're going to be uh, uh, see a different side to the drivers and the race now that we've done the uh, we've done the custom grid hate to have to do it this way but unfortunately I'm gonna have to build it manually it looks like I'll make sure to get off you is at the back as much as I can here is Yamo's different livery it looks like he's gone for a, a change we've got some tire strategies in effect um, what they might start to discover um, for the drivers here is that, um, is that there's very little to choose between the soft and medium uh, over the uh, and, and just depending on what uh, pit stop strategy they go for um, very very little to, to choose between them on a 25% race so you can pit into lap 2 or 3 um, and uh, still run the softs pretty long um, hopefully they will start to pick that up. So Yamo is on, is in the front. Garofio is at the back. Uh, Yamo, Debo, got Palmer, Ghost, and Nicholas Boiter have gone for the medium tyres. Nicholas told me to have a look at his new livery. So what's he gone for? Uh, okay, so it's black and white with a red accent, red icon colour as well, despite the fact that it's a black and white car. 3 turn 13 they go under the uh, floodlights of Saudi Arabia so we've got Ivan Tonsik up in 5th after that uh, retirement here are a few Max and Matrav right at the back of the order I was hoping we might get a little um, look at the standings but obviously Gerofu is on top and Max is 2nd at the moment So who's your pick for this race? Can any of the front three manage to hold on for the end? Can uh, Gerof you get back up to the top of the standings? Um, what of the rest of the drivers? What can they do? 13 laps of Saudi Arabia await. Again, a voyage into the unknown for those drivers who uh, use the GT line all the way through their year of racing. Bermeister has been disqualified, but he's on. So and so has Ivan Beloff. They've ended up on the start finish line and Joe Hamster says fastest person to go down down through the grid it will be him and ghost predicting Gerofu will be uh, Vettel 2013 spec towards the end of this well let's see looks like Burmeister did come to blows with um, Ivan Beloff he's typing furiously into the chat um, but unfortunately we need to leave plenty of gaps to each other as much as possible so Yamo, Joe Hamster and Debo after retiring from the previous race will be at the front of this one then comes Yella, Ivan Tonsik and Kermit but uh, Yamo will have the outside run towards turn 1 remember no traction control so no drivers being favoured with controlled wheel spin off the line the only only um 
assist I have allowed has been the break, the ABS for pad users. Five lights on. It's time to drop the clutch and away. Go, go, go. They go with Joe Hamster uh, roaring off from the start. But actually, it's Yella who's getting a good start down the inside of Debo. Yella side by side trying to find room for himself on the... Um, on the cutback, but Yamo's picked up a three second penalty, straight lining that first chicane. And it's uh, anybody's guess down into turn four and five for the first time. That is Kermit running wide. That's Ghost right behind him. Uh, Kermit uh, stuck out, uh, hung out to dry here from uh, uh, losing momentum. And wide he goes once again, running wide. Uh, over the curbs, over the apex, and he'll pick up penalties uh, all day for that kind of uh, action. Ivan Tonsik trying to get the inside line on Reshka. They rub wheels. Reshka holds on around the high side of the banking, and that was brave stuff down the outside. But Ivan will be pinned right to his heels. Um, where is Geroff Yu? He's got up to 12th position, um, and some of the other uh, uh, rear runners are coming up towards him as well. Geroff Yu prom uh, from getting promoted from the fullback from Matrav and I think Kermit who has gone all the way down to the tail of the field at this early stage of the race but Yeller is holding on Yeller is holding on as, as now Pastor Hamster runs very wide on the inside of uh, turn 24 and down they go with Yamo 2.1 seconds in the lead but with a three second penalty side by side action down towards the turn 27 final cor corner on the track and Joe Hamster tries to hold on next to Yeller despite the fact that Debo got right into the back of uh, Yella. So before DRS is enabled, Joe uh, will try and use the slipstream, but there's no way through just there. It does look like Joe very good on the brakes, starting to get a good feel for the car. Geroff Yu, championship leader, currently in ninth place and moving up the field. Looks like Burmeister, the, the latest victim of Geroff Yu's ascendancy through the field. Max doing quite, not quite as well. Matrav also um, also struggling around well William saying he's okay with uh, without uh, DRS uh, without ABS and look at the penalties adding up already on or only on lap two in the top four have all picked up identical penalties go off you uh, challenging uh, got Palmer up into P8 this time round and a seven place climb for Geroff Yu but it's a lot more of an interesting uh, race from his perspective now starting at the back of course he only needs to pick up a, a DNF and the other drivers will start to catch him. Ivan Tonsik is, is alongside temporarily Reshka, but behind him Ghost is now defending from championship leading Geroff Yu and double race winning Geroff Yu. Down the inside they go, and Geroff Yu up to P7. Uh, it's Yamo up in the lead by 2.2 seconds, but these guys, uh, really Reshka has the de facto lead, and he's holding on to it. As uh, William says, biblical scenes here with all these penalties. Uh, Geroff Yu trying to get the inside line. Ivan Tonsik clatters into the back of Reshka and makes another job very easy for Geroff Yu, who uh, gains another place as a result. Yamo gets fastest lap, quickly beaten by Yella, who is really starting to find a rhythm now. Yella was full of complaints, but look how quickly these guys pick up the pace. Geroff Yu down the outside into turn one. Reshka defends. Geroff Yu will have the inside line here. It's a tight squeeze through turns two and three and round. The outside goes Geroff Yu, decisive stuff. Joe Hamster is alongside Debo, has just lost out his position as well as they race down and try and find, pick a point between the two white lines on the track and head towards the final um, part of this first half of the lap into turn 13, the, the tight braking zone. Geroff Yu with a little bit of a gap now, finally has to try and find a rhythm. Reshka um, is defending. You know, got Palmer defending from Ghost on the inside. Got Palmer around the outside on the high side of the banking. That's a good way to go through and round. And through goes Got Palmer with a beautiful looking car in these uh, under these lights. Very tasty stuff. Ivan Tonsik joins us once again. Ivan looked like you were defending and ended up hitting a car from behind and uh, ending up going wide and letting Geroff you right through quite easily. Ah. Uh. What can I say? Oh, first? sorry. Out goes Joe Hamster, possibly nerfed by Geroff Yu there. Uh, quite possibly. That was, um, he was helped into that one. We'll hear from Joe, I'm sure. But wow, uh, real moment on the, uh, on the fast switchback section in, this, in Sector 3. And we've also got a stopped car. We've got Ivan Beloff uh, slow, but it's Joe Hamster there um, on the entry into turn 20, 25. Sorry, Ivan, to cut you off. Uh, no worries. Uh, first of all, I, I don't know what can I uh, say, but first of all, I think I accidentally break checked someone uh, 
my apologies for what that was. Uh, but you know, what can I say? China. Uh, I had to go to the AI good because my grandfather was something. <laughs> and then uh, when I came back, I lost I think one or two positions. ERS was low. Uh, and uh, my cats were meowing all the time during mid race, so it was hard to get focused. And uh, I ended up getting V8 power rain again, getting caught up in mayhem. But uh, that was mistake on my own. Uh, we've just lost Burmeister as well. Burmeister out of the session. Um, we've got uh, Max making his way up the field as well, joining, um, trying to follow through with Geroff Yu. And Joe Hamster joins us. Joe, it looked like you were maybe pushed into that from Geroff Yu. Well, I was actually uh, doing okay. I was going a bit wide here, there, and everywhere, but I don't know. I just absolutely clattered into from behind. So. Okay, so. I don't know if I broke early. It might have been my fault. I have no clue. <laughs> Well, Geroff, you probably um, breaking later than most people on the circuit, but racecraft is, is one of the keys that we want to see here tonight. Max fighting Reshka as the way down to, to the final corner. Max is trying to get the inside line. Reshka doesn't play any games with the DRS line. Max down the inside. I think he'll get DRS on the way down as well, Follow, following Got Palmer uh, regardless. But another move, and we've got plenty of pit stops. In, in action as well. Joe, it's it's not been going well for you so far, but you look to be getting in more of a rhythm in this race. Well, this is one of my favourite tracks of the season uh, this year, so I was hoping that it would go all right, and I was a little bit late breaking every now and then, but I was pretty happy with the start. Yeah, it looked oh, like um, several of you were, were, were really keeping up with, um, with the pace of the race as well. Sorry, Ivan, did you have a question or a comment? Uh, I just try, want to ask, may I finish um, my part? Yeah. Uh, my, so basically, in Jeddah, I can, uh, I'll, all I'll say is, when I, I think my uh, things are going to plan, when things are going to plan for, for me, they are not going to plan for me. <laughs> basically, I meant to defend from Kermit at the start and try to maybe follow Debo, uh, who was definitely quicker than me at this point. Yeah, he's on medium, so I'll try to follow the, the guys ahead to drag me along but then my parents were on vacation for a couple past couple of days uh, basically came with a uh, simply simply lovely timing to go home I had to go there I opened the open door and then uh, meanwhile I lost position to Kermit and Reshka and then it all went down Definitely struggling with domestic situations tonight, Ivan. Hopefully the rest of your evening will be a little bit more straightforward. That, Ma uh, Reshka and Max continue to, to battle uh, side I'm, by I'm side. I'm not participating anymore. I, I give up. Okay. <laughs> okay, well, we're sorry to see that. Um, I was hoping to see more from you, Ivan, but uh, hopefully we'll see you again sometime on, on air. Wait, what, what drug is next? Is it Spa? Uh, next, Spa, I think, is the final race of... of uh, we're going to Austria next. Okay, I'm, I'm, in, I'm fine with Austria. <laughs> Gerov, you is fighting for the lead as he's now closed in on the back of Yella. Um, sorry, Joe, I'll cut to you shortly. Yella is all over the circuit. I think um, similar lines to what you were taking earlier there, Joe. Um, just uh, hanging on to the uh, to the car as if it's uh, still alive. It's it's really struggling. Gerov, you trying to go around the outside, closed off by Yella who is not in the mood to do any favours here to the championship leader so far. Max is in sixth and closing up a little bit slower uh, through the field than Geroff Yu, but still uh, quality drive so far from Max through this race. Uh, Yamo hanging on to fifth from the front, but so is Debo. Uh, Joe, I don't know if you're cheering on your, your fellow front runners in this race or, or if you've got a particular favour at the moment. I'm definitely cheering on Yellow here. Okay. <laughs> I see he gave him a lot of space on that corner, he's learned. Yeah, definitely. Uh, trying to, to time his battles. Yella holds the inside line. Uh, Gareth Yu will try and go the long way around. Waits for the DRS once again. And I think it'll be easy now, as now Yella heads into the pits. Gareth Yu on the soft tyres and making them run into lap 7 of 13. It's Gareth Yu from, I think it will be, got Palmer in the end, who will get his way up to P2. Um, we've got uh, Burmeister questioning the driving of a couple of drivers and uh, getting an apology from Ivan Belov, uh, which is nice to see at least. Nicholas Boiter, some of, something of a surprise, still in eighth place at the moment. Now make that seventh as Max and Reshka are pitted. 
So, Joe, how are you feeling about the tyre strategies? Do you feel like there's much in the in the way of difference between what you pick while in these 25% race distances? No, there's no difference. I don't think it really makes much difference. I think if you start on the mediums, you just don't have enough time on the softs to make back the time you lose on the mediums. I don't really think it's worth it. But for the people right. Who that's I will agree with John. Basically, the alternative strategy um, this shorter race is in the bin. Yeah. <laughs> well, down comes get to the pit, so. <laughs> Yama on got Palmer. Yama on the new soft tyres. Got Palmer on the old mediums. And uh, if uh, if I'm hearing you right, guys, it, it looks like Got Palmer should be uh, if he's going to run the mediums at the start, he needs to pit before the halfway point and actually use the softs to the best of his ability. But he's definitely moving his way up the championship here by consistently scoring points. He's got the DRS open, and uh, I have to say, um, oh, massive... We are cheeky. Sorry, say that again, Ivan. I uh, said that uh, Palmer tried to make a move around the outside of the armor. Uh, in yeah. The but, you know, oh, that's the big cut. <laughs> Into the pits goes Got Palmer then for the, um, the penultimate stopper, apart from Gerov Yu, who is still hanging out uh, on the line. He... No penalty for Got Palmer, and one of the things I must just point out is massive respect to Got Palmer. He is driving. Got Palmer is a deaf driver, and is managing to, to play this game without the benefit of any sound indicators whatsoever. There goes Yella turning round, um, and is stuck in the barrier, waiting to re restart. And he's retired from the race. He's left the session as well. Unfortunately, Yella not enjoying life at the moment, and we are going to drop down. I think as uh, as these guys decide they can't do it. I'm not quite I'm sure what everyone ready. was expecting when I said a tough challenge and it's all starts, but apparently it wasn't to, to race without assists. <laughs> the race apparently caught me off guard. <laughs> Didn't you think about it? My name, thinking for myself, I expected five lappers because I think that will go better for me in this one than 25%. Although I was not doing quite bad, that's my travel sense one, that bank corner. On, uh, We've got Nicholas Boiter seven tenths of a second behind Debo, who also has a penalty, as has Yamo. But Got Palmer has left the session. It looks like a possible disco for Got Palmer, uh, but hopefully he'll be able to get himself back in. I sent everybody a um, um, sent everybody three invites at the start of tonight's race. We've got, just hit our 90th comment, folks. So thank you so much for the engagement so far. Got Palmer has managed to get himself back in. A little. Um, update from Ivan Beloff, he says that uh, despite his um, uh, he, it's his anniversary today and it looks like his wife's getting a little bit angrier than he was expecting, <laughs> so uh, he's going to do the, uh, the, the, the correct thing, I guess, and um, and, uh, and and stick with family unit, stand, family harmony. Max comes up to P6 as he passes uh, Got Palmer in the pits and then makes a mess of turn one and two. We've got Yella saying he can't do it um, thank you for the invitation, but he can't do it. And it looks like Ivan Karakov, Ivan Belov, will not be able to carry on um, with us tonight, which is sad to see. Bigger things for me. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> it will make life a little bit easier only having the one Ivan on the track, I have to say. But um, but Joe, I presume you were sort of hoping that Ivan would, uh, Ivan Belov would be able to do a, a little bit better and represent your league fairly well. Too right. Exactly what I was hoping. <laughs> Got... Wait, uh, closing in on Debo. No he is. Nicola, yeah, so he's uh, he's getting closer and closer. Gerov Yu is uh, is disappeared from sight. Yamo's up there up the road as well. I've lost my intervals temporarily, but we can see Nicholas Boitek, um chasing down Debo. I think he's uh, a little bit shy to go into that final corner, and Debo uh, runs wide. He won't need a second invitation, Nicholas Boyce. He will have the DRS and the run down the uh, straight. But no, it was, in fact, Debo who um, managed to uh, to fake out the move into using the DRS, and he gets back past Nicholas. So Debo hanging on for dear life. And what about what, what about guys? What, what's your opinion if you've got a penalty and the driver behind hasn't? Should you be continuing to fight or yes. is it you should okay <laughs> uh, uh, I mean if they're on the same pace as you why not but if they're a tempo quicker like I had case with the Yarmo and uh, I think it was Brandon uh, earlier on I mean why you sh 
why will you ruin their races and chance to get better result than you? They are obviously quicker. The, you have nothing from, from that. They'll get past you anyways. So basically that's uh, using uh, your intelligence a little bit in some situations as well. <laughs> I think Weber knows I like a good that one track. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, I don't mind people fighting, but uh, but I can understand it getting very really frustrating if you're in the following car. And Nicholas Boyter, he's uh, certainly getting frustrated, not just from his perspective. It looks like I think the whole world tonight is lagging around. I think it's his connection coming over from Brazil oh, as he is and oh, oh, oh. down the outside. Uh, Nicholas getting ahead, using the DRS into the final corner, but Debo will have the DRS on you're the open. next run. Why is he pitted? Who's in the pits? I can't see. Uh, Gerofu. Gerofu. Gerofu is in the pits. So what's he up to then? He just made a very, very late pit stop. Debo and Nicholas Boyter continue to battle and Debo gets passed once again into turn one. Looks like Gerofu starting to play with his food here in a sense. And he's now dropped nine seconds behind Yamo. So it's a big tall order to get back on the top step of the, of the uh, podium tonight as Debo continues to look incredibly leery on the circuit and Nicholas Boiter rubs the wall trying to find a, a racing line in amongst all of these concrete uh, barriers. They are making up a new track here, Joe. Oh, penalty for Nicholas. <laughs> I paved the way for them. <laughs> You're just cleaning parts of the track so that they've exactly. got a good run. Yeah. Around turn 13 they go. It's lap 11 and Yamo has an 8.9 second lead here. Uh, remember, Yamo starting pretty close to the back of the uh, of the field as well. No, sorry, Yamo was on pole. <laughs> he was close to the back in the previous race. So Gerofu has climbed 13 places. When did Yamo make his stop? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think, uh, yeah, I yeah it's now. already already done. Yeah, indeed. Uh, Devo so hits the wall yet again, and these two continue to battle towards the end of this race. Um, oh, looks like Nicholas Boiter a little bit more shy now coming down and he'll know what Debo is like through this final corner. Debo tries to sprint on the way out and now it's a drag race down to the, the first corner. We've got a little bit of weaving going on. Very heavy he needs to be before, I wonder. But Nicholas just can't get there. And he puts himself on a very narrow braking line for turn one and two. That presumably won't help him come out of turn two or three. And getting loose on the car once again. Yamo with an 8.6 second lead here from Gerof Yu, whose perfect party so far is going to be spoiled, I think, unless something terrible happens to Yamo. Certainly got the pace to stay at the front. Looks oh, like, guys, I'm going to have to rebuild a custom grid every time uh, because the reverse oh. grid feature isn't working. Is that what you used well, the first well, time? Well, tell me one thing that is working on F1 to be simple one game and it is Yes, quite. Yeah, for the first first race I used reverse grid option and it didn't work, I'm afraid. Looks like Matt Trav and Max continuing their uh, their championship long battle. Definitely going to be tight between these two all evening long. Matt Trav in seventh, Max in sixth, having moved forward, but a 19 second gap between these guys and P5. Penalties all over the board as well. It looks like Matt Trav with more rip at this stage of the race than Max, despite having used those tyres a little bit longer. How the position changes worked. Eight up for Max, six up for Matrav, and eight up for Nicholas Boiter as well. Gerof Yu with a new fastest lap on the final lap of the race. What well, final uh, time of crossing the start-finish line. Round the outside tries Matrav into turn 30, down towards turn 27, I should say. And that means Max will get the DRS on the way up towards the start-finish line. But he's some distance away, but it looks like Matrav getting a little bit out of shape through the final corner. But Max cannot close in on this particular occasion. All going okay so far for Yamo up in the lead of the race. Just about to cross the second sector timing beam. But we've got a very close battle at the rear of the grid. A quick look at the penalty situation. Oh, it's, it's I've just noticed Yamo has got a nine second penalty to Gerof Yu's 6.8 second lead. Gerof Yu's going to win this one again thanks to those penalties. If he'd managed to run this without the penalties, as Kermit and Gerof Yu have done, I think Yamo could have held on. Well, by the looks of penalties around the field, 
Absolutely. Seconds. <laughs> Yamo rounds. How much? Yamo rounds the final corner, and yeah, Reshka's managed to pick to pick up 15 seconds. So Yama rounds the final corner and crosses the line in front, converts pole into the uh, into the win on the road. But it'll be Garof Yu without a penalty on his car at all, who wins again with a new fastest lap as well, a 129.7. Garof Yu wins the race. And there we have Nicholas Boiter just getting Debo at the end. And that will cheer Nicholas Boiter up no end after having stared at Debo's uh, rear wing. Fourth. Ghost gets fourth. Nice work from Ghost. Well... The was nine seconds of penalties, so I think that explains it. Absolutely. Madtrav clatters the barrier, does a Max Verstappen into the final corner. And uh, he will lose out to Max, I think, here. Max gets sixth. Madtrav seventh. Got Palmer in eighth. Again, making that strategy work, consistently delivering point scoring results. And it looks like it's going to be Reshka in ninth. Kermit, I think, isn't close enough uh, to the order to finish this one out. Uh, Unfortunately, he's not. So, Kermit, but he will get a point. So, uh, that's uh, more than can be said for some people, shall we say. Um, oh. But <laughs> um, oh, boy. Hopefully, you guys will be able to get some points shortly. We're going to Austria next, so plenty of overtaking should be expected. Get off you with three wins from three, including one from the back. But I'm going to have to pin him at the back of the grid whatever happens every race I think so hopefully he won't be able to win Monaco hopefully I think won't this will be, be a win. smash up turn 3 on Austria I'm just saying uh, <laughs> heavy braking zones so can go wrong there's definitely a good chance of that Monaco merchant car and racing uh, 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 Kieran um, had a uh, internet failure apparently oh and couldn't make well, it unlucky Absolutely. <laughs> well, time for you guys to get yourselves organised and get ready for Austria. But uh, luck, yeah, I'll see you in five minutes, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck to you too, mate. Uh, well, the champagne is sprayed on the podium, and uh, I have a, s a small job to do once again to uh, set up the uh, set up the next grid. Uh, Nicholas Boiter says his car just wouldn't turn, um, but. Uh, Part of the reason for that, I imagine, would have been being uh, behind Debo as much as he was throughout the race. There's Gerolf Yu again with the win, but he didn't get the fastest lap in the end. Nicholas Boiter, despite a car that wouldn't turn, managed to get a fastest lap of a 129.565 um, on the board. Um, Yamo in the middle of the two of them. Ghost, Debo, Max, Matrav, got Palmer with another points finish. Reshka, Kermit, Yella. Uh, Kermit finished and picked up one point. Then comes Yella, Ivan Beloff, Burmeister, Joe Hamster and Ivan Tonsik. And that means the Gerolf U has a 41-point lead at the front of the field. But it's tight between Yamo, Max, Ghost, Nicholas, Boiter and Matrav. Uh, you can see Got Palmer in 10th, uh, picking up nine points overall so far. Yella, despite having decided to give up and not be able to do this, um, he's left. But Joe Hamster um, still to score. Uh, hopefully got four more opportunities to do just that. So, um, again, I'll just take a few moments to rebuild the grid. We have four races to go for you. Four races to go. Um, and uh, the next one um, will be at, um, at Austria, at the Red Bull Ring. So, just bear with me one moment while I rebuild the grid. Hope you're enjoying tonight's racing. Do make sure to leave a subscribe on the League Racing TV channel to uh, like the video as well. Um, and um, if you want to, follow me on Twitter at WeboRed5. I will be doing in the region of three season-long commitments per week at the moment. I'll be making my Gran Turismo 7 debut tomorrow um, for the first time. Um, and um, Gran Turismo will be featuring a little bit more heavily in my uh, commentary this season as well um, I'll be on on Tuesday night and Wednesday night this week but I think that will be about all uh, the finale of the Dutch Racing Alliance 25% uh, um, championship um, is on Friday as well 
So just bear with me, I'm almost there. And Nicholas Boyd has said he's put off, put on another new livery. Um, and Max is now saying that Gareth Hugh is Lewis Hamilton between 2014 and 2020. Um, so I imagine these comparisons will continue. Max says that was intense with Reshka through the race. That will be uh, underway for you in Austria. Should be a fairly quick one. I'm very grateful to all the drivers for taking part tonight. They, um, uh, they represent the best of each of the leagues and teams that I have uh, had the pleasure of being part of. Um, I have to say, a few drivers obviously couldn't make it with us but uh, but for the most part these guys are the front runners from each of their respective leagues i've got to 98 comments in the chat so keep going guys um uh, ghost says um are we all driving f2 multiplayer cars and Gareth Hugh is in um is in f1 car uh, well worth a check well unfortunately with a couple of drivers uh, tapping out of this one um it will make Gareth Hugh's job a little bit easier debo says watch me win here and Reshka says he's not doing too badly without line. Um, uh, he says the um, reason he races with line is it's more fun um, to not have to check the breaking points. But for me, what I want is uh, drivers pushing themselves and driving as close to realistic situations as possible, um, not uh, not with a uh, rainbow stripe on the on the uh, on the ground for them. Gareth, you uh, promising to lift a little bit earlier to not uh, not have the same problem um, um, as he had with Joe Hamster before. Um, lots of amicable and sporting chat going on, which is which I like to see. This is obviously just for fun. This is not for any sort of financial uh, payout for the drivers. Um, they will join here just for a good evening of uh, of racing. Let me know if you are a neutral in the uh, in the grid. If you found a new favourite or someone you are cheering on. Ivan will take the uh, pole position for this one and uh, I'm sure he'll be uh, grateful to try and get him get his race. Although he'll probably argue that uh, this is one of the worst places to have pole position because you're vulnerable all the way down. Uh, Nicholas Boiter wants us to check out his, his next livery, just making my life all that bit more difficult. Uh, that's got a, just about every colour in the palette on it, hasn't it? Um, so that's a little bit of a of an odd one. And also let me know if you found a favourite uh, livery just yet. Um, I'm struggling at the moment to pick my favourite, but I will um, endeavour to get there by the end of the evening. So quite like Reshkas. Um, also enjoying um, Got Palmer's. I'm not sure whether Got Palmer actually designed this one himself or not. Uh, whether that was a uh, a team livery for Drink Alchemy. Reminder, if you want to try out the new Tropic Alertness Drink, Drink Alchemy, then um, place an order with the discount code WEBO. That's W-E-B-B-O. So, uh, get off you. At the back once again, medium tyres uh, split evenly down the grid with the rearmost runners tending to choose that one. And uh, Joe Hamster with the clearest view he's had to uh, turn one yet. Bermeister up at the front as well, but Ivan will have the pole. And Debo says rain at the end of this race, so rain at the end could throw another challenge into the drivers. We've got random start times and dynamic weather set up for you. 
Um, pit stop strategies will just be choosing between the soft and the medium tyre. Just waiting on a couple of drivers. That was nice and neat. Here come the revs. Here come the lights. Everything building, including the excitement. Let's drop the clutch. And go, go, go. Wheel spin across the whole grid. Um, trying to get away. That, as a result of that late start, Joe Hamster screams into the lead into turn one. Ivan giving up the place quite neatly. And... Uh, the drivers all surviving turn one, all line of stern and keeping it uh, nice and uh, and clean at the start of this one. Ivan going for a late dive bomb on Joe Hamster goes for a wide, wide entry and a super wide exit. Ivan seeming to outbreak himself as well with cold tyres and he's now defending from Burmeister who gets tucked up right underneath. Ivan gives up the inside. The inside line will be available to Burmeister. Ivan has a better braking opportunity and a good traction on the way out of turn four and uh, as they go on through towards the next fast left-hander. Uh, Burmeister getting just ahead, but Ivan just scream, screeching up alongside a double left-hander to come, so that should favour Ivan, who is tip-toeing his way through the race so far. Really struggling on those soft tyres. Burmeister bravely hangs on, but Joe Hamster is up in, the, in front of this one, and uh, Burmeister just gets the overlap, and it's Ivan spun. Ivan spins on the way out of the... Uh, circuit but uh, so that's not going to be of any use got uh, got power uh, sorry get off you going into the pits after the first lap and he's going to try and run the whole race on one set of tires uh, all but one lap uh, so down at the foot of the field it was uh, pandemonium going on with get you in the pits looking for those uh, clean laps but Burmeister challenging for first place now not quite as close as, as Kermit and uh, Debo who are side by side going into turn two Great stuff from the drivers who are fast adjusting those who don't have the um, racing line assist to rely on this time. Uh, Kermit and Yamo. Yamo getting the place on Kermit. I'm struggling to tell the difference between their liveries and their icons, but it's uh, it's Yamo getting ahead. Kermit struggling with Got Palmer getting around the outside. Beautiful move from Got Palmer once again, just steadily and and uh, surely getting those points on the board. Uh, Joe Hamster is still half a second in front of Burmeister. Can't shake Burmeister at this early stage. And uh, Geroff Yu, 12 seconds back, but running in clear air and presumably uh, trying to undercut the entire field. Joe Hamster with a new fastest lap, quickly beaten by Reshka, then by Yamo. As we move up the field, Ivan Tunsik gets another fastest lap as well. So catching the foot of the field, he hasn't decided to do the same as Geroff Yu and pit early. But Joe is now half a second in front. But Reshka keeping Burmeister busy with a beautiful dive bomb into turn two. They clattered slightly, but uh, Reshka on the ascendancy and making up places. Up three places now for Reshka. And let's take a look at the tyre um, situation with Debo and, and uh, Yamo side by side. Debo leans on Yamo right on the way out the corner. Yamo will try and hold on into the next left-hander. They touch once again and waiting to take advantage is Matra tucked up behind and he's trying to make a move as well but he can't quite get by. It's Reshka behind Joe with Burmeister behind him. A little gap then to Yamo who has got his hands full with Debo and Matra. Got Palmer in seventh again running those medium tyres at the start of the race. No further pit stops here. Geroff Yu dropped a second um, to the car in front. But Reshka right behind Joe Hamster. Now we've got DRS to contend with down these straights. Reshka should have a nice easy job of it. Joe Hamster might well decide to give up the place here without much battling because it will cost him dearly further into the race. Uh, that was that was Burmeister, was it wrong? Going wrong? Burmeister is off track. So was Yamo. So was Debo temporarily. But uh, picking up the pace once again and Burmeister coming back at Yamo now down, trying to get down the inside but we know there's good grip on the outside exit of turn four into five and uh, Yamo holds on into P3 now nice tight racing which is exactly what the Red Bull ring always delivers uh, Geroff Hugh has managed to catch uh, Ivan Tonsik he's now down to 6.2 seconds you can see on the on the track there on the track map Ivan running wide and uh, Geroff Yu will be past him quickly. Ivan doing uh, nobody any favours there to uh, try and hold up Geroff Yu. But Yamo, Reshka and Joe will head towards turn one. Joe got back past Reshka but was that at the cost of potential? 
overall truck distance to Yamo, who will try and get a two for one here. Reshka gets past Joe. Yamo takes Reshka's line. Joe tries to hang out on the outside. I'm desperately hoping Joe manages to get a point score out of this one. But at the moment, he's being bullied off the circuit. Look at the gaps here. Yamo tries around the outside into turn one. Gets a little bit of a squeeze from Reshka. He won't thank you for that. Surely, was that Joe getting slightly sideways? He held on tight uh, and securely. Yamo is derating once again. Has spent loads of ERS on these early laps. Lap 5 of 18 already uh, has been completed. Sorry, lap 4 has been completed. We're on lap 5. Burmeister slipping down the order. Burmeister appears to be off track for a moment there. And now Geroff Hughes' next target is 14 seconds up the road. It's Burmeister, um, who is himself further back. Into the pits, though, comes Yamo from the lead of the race. We ride with Joe Hamster, who is chasing down Reshka once again. We lose our intervals again slightly. And Yamo has retired from the session. Yamo is out uh, into the pits. He retires in the pits. I'm not quite sure what went down with Yamo. But a big shame. Remember, we're expecting some rain at the end of this one. Um, is that Joe trying to get... Well, he's trying to hold off um, Madtrav. But Debo get, got Joe as well there. So Debo getting past Joe in the uh, early or late sun. I can't decide whether it's sunrise or sunset. Some of these liveries some, somewhat melding into one another. Uh, Joe round the outside of Debo becomes the inside. But uh, um, out breaks himself. And now Madtrav will tuck up at the inside and gets... Joe gets a tag from Matrav. That looked unfair. And for the second race in succession, Joe was tagged by uh, a rival. Joe tri tripping down the order now. Unfortunately, Reshka trying to hold on. He's in P1. Debo in P2. With a small gap then to Nicholas Boiter as we wait for those first um, pit stops from the medium runners. The soft tyres holding on a long time for the drivers. Now Debo shaping to the inside, but he, prefer, he would prefer the... Uh, the run down towards the hill with the DRS. Much longer run here. Um, Yamo had dinner, unfortunately, had to go. But he did the right thing by going into the pits. So we're grateful to Yamo for that. Um, they get right into it. And Debo gets Reshka around the outside. Reshka tries to hold on. He's got the DRS now on the run down towards turn four. But he's derating himself. So this is the battle for the lead. Um, some 2.8, 2.8. Seven seconds ahead of Ghost and Nicholas Boiter, who just swapped places as well. And the uh, race breaking up a little bit here. Burmeister and Yamo out of this one, unfortunately. Um, I'm hoping to hear from Burmeister in between sessions if we can. Uh, so Debo getting tucked underneath Reshka. Can't quite make the move stick. Reshka hanging on here. And remember, Reshka uh, very unused to using uh, no racing line. There is the 100th comment, and that is uh, Burmeister leaving it and leaving us, it looks like, unfortunately. Burmeister leaving us for, for now. But uh, thanks to him for taking part. It's been fun, Burmeister, and uh, yeah, grateful for you, uh, uh, for you, joining us for as long as you could We're down to 11 in this race as Ivan tries to get his first points Debo around the outside into turn 4 uh, Reshka holds on gamely these guys really making a great battle out of it for us but remember rain to come we're almost at the halfway point of this race will the rain come early will the rain come late There's Ivan with a penalty, but there's plenty of penalties on the board as well. Madtrav leaves the session, unfortunately. That looks like a potential uh, disconnection for Madtrav. Hopefully he can get himself back in. Debo continues his battle here with Reshka as Ghost makes a pit stop. Got Palmer up to P4 as well now. Here comes Debo. That would look like it was going to be a very late bomb, didn't it? But he, he just shied away from it. So Reshka, Debo, Nicholas Boiter, got Palmer catching. And it's just Reshka who's yet to pit. Debo around the outside. Reshka is struggling on these tyres now, surely. Deep into this stint on the soft tyres. Will he 
decide to split the race in half. They try and run side by side. And this is very fair racing from the two of them so far. Good racing room left by Debo through turn eight. And Reshka uh, tries to hang on. Will either of these guys decide to pit this time out? What of Geroff Yu? Well, he's still in eighth place. Oh, they both come into the pits. Well, they've come into the pits with Joe Hamster's AI coming into the pits at the same time. Almost a lap down now. And that means that Reshka hangs on to the lead. And he'll finally get a little bit of breathing room. He's got Palmer with a tremendous drive so far in P3. And catching Nicholas Boiter. Hand over fist. Really enjoying these medium tyres. But will he start to learn that the softs will happily do half a race? Because he keeps running this option strategy medium to soft. Geroff Yu up to fifth now, overtaking Kermit, who has had his uh, struggles, you have to say. Geroff Yu uh, getting Kermit quite easily. But here is Gar Palmer once again. <laughs> Joe says not AI. Sorry about that, Joe. <laughs> I, thought, uh, I thought you'd left us overall and uh, you were... But uh, yeah, congrats for keeping on the circuit trying to get points it's it's joe versus ivan in the race to the bottom it seems today joe gets a three second penalty it's got palmer does pit now and will try and run eight laps on the soft which will be plenty to run reshka hangs on and he's obviously feeling quite good about those tires i don't know if we can see a little moment at those temperatures tire temperatures can't see anything too alarming on the car but he's picked up a penalty so he's obviously not having too much fun get off you and his um his plan here to undercut the entire field is definitely on um, it looks like with both Max and Reshka having not pitted yet he will easily get the lead of the, of the race running those um, running those early laps on the new tyres but he's making um, he's going to try and make soft tyres last a huge distance obviously he's gained massive track position so if he does have to pit again um, he, he might be able to do it again but he's already done eight laps on these soft tyres. So keeping, uh, keeping it interesting for us. It's got Palmer has, um, has, left, uh, has left the pits. And he's now back in seventh place. Uh, hoping to stay on terms with Reshka and Max. As they get towards, well, they're certainly well into the second half of this race. Um, got Palmer in seventh place in the gorgeous liveried EDA Miami Heat version colour scheme we're looking out to see whether it might rain on us or not Joe Hamster has uh, DNF'd and he joins us again Joe, um, when you're ready and calm enough uh, what, what happened this time, was that a was that a tactical withdrawal or, or did you have an accident, a second accident uh, I dropped the back end that turn three <sighs> just went scared into it. but you were taken out uh, by a rival once again. Uh, what was your view on it this time? I, d I didn't think I was in the wrong this time. At all. <laughs> Last time maybe I broke early, but this time I was not in the wrong. No, it didn't look that way, and it looks like you're having some terrible luck. But you'll you'll get a a, a front of the race uh, order start once again in the next one. What do you think you can do in um, in Belgium? Do you think that gives you any better a chance? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> A rouge is going to be a difficult one. I struggle with that with traction control, let alone with that. <laughs> well, as things stand, you should be starting P3, which people often say is the best place to start a race in Belgium. Well, if we go by last season, uh, I uh, wiped everyone off. So I avoid that. <laughs> Forgot to break, I'll be honest. <laughs> <laughs> At a was, great that, start, was that with was racing line on at the time? Yeah, yeah, with racing line on. I was too busy watching the guy who I got a better start than that I wasn't watching the corner straight into Luke. I'm having the season four actually, but yeah, not good. <laughs> God Palmer gets past, finally, it gets past Ghost, so up to P6 on the soft tyres. Now, uh, what chance do you think, Joe, that Geroff Yu has to get another five laps out of the soft tyres comfortably? The man's a magician. <laughs> <laughs> it it's not wrong. Yeah, we are trying to find our all-star. We may have already found him, but we, we will see as we go through uh, the remainder of these races um, we've got Gott Palmer there in 7th place still um, 
well, no, he, he got repassed by Ghost, unfortunately, with Geroff Yu waiting for the pit stops from Reshka and Max. Reshka is on 13 lap old soft, so that, for me, is the best indicator yet that Geroff Yu might be able to do this because Reshka's done that fat with fuel, Joe. Wow. He's going long, isn't he? Is he pitted yet? Yeah, Geroff Yu pitted really early, and he's undercut virtually the entire field in oh. doing that. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Uh, Ivan seemed to have a bit of a, an off-track moment there. He's trying to beat you to the first for the to the first point. It seems. He's going to do it if he keeps it on the track. I don't know if you two are, are trying to outdo each other in uh, DNFs, but um, <laughs> <laughs> got to win the summer, right? <laughs> That's exactly right. Well, Geroff Yu manages to get past Max on track, so he doesn't have to wait for Max's pit stop. We are still waiting for Reshka's pit stop. Max is going to be a little bit depressed by that, I think. Getting passed by someone on older softs than he's on mediums at this stage. But Geroff Yu is absolute class of the field at this point. Let's hope the remaining tracks are something of a weakness for him. We go across the line to start lap 15 with Reshka. He is now 2.3 seconds to the good. Is there any advantage here, Joe, for Reshka just waiting as late as possible to pit? I'm assuming... I heard you say there was some rain somewhere, so I'm assuming he was waiting for that so he didn't have to do a pit stop. Got it, yeah. That was my assumption, but I don't know. Maybe he just he feels good being first right now. <laughs> just enjoying it out there. Uh, so, Gold Palmer is in sixth place, and he's just passed Ghost again. But will he get repassed? As uh, these two seem to be at a very similar pace. It's difficult to stretch away from a driver behind uh, that you're at a similar pace with around this track, Joe, you think? He manages to hold on into turn four this time. Still waiting on that pit stop from Reshka, but it does look a bit dark. If you ride on board one of the drivers, you can see the clouds are looking pretty dark. I don't see any rain streaks on the camera just yet. Uh, looks like Got Palmer washing out. And there's Max gone to the pits. Can't wait any longer, it seems, for the soft tyres. And he gets a five-second penalty for speeding on into the pit lane. And that's super rare, Joe. We hardly ever see a mistake from Max in F1 in, on Invictus. Does he uh, use a race in life? <laughs> Do you know? I don't think so. <laughs> Not in F1. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a self to play. <laughs> exactly. There's a penalty for Got Palmer. So we're almost complete with everyone with a penalty apart from Max Matrav and Geroff Yu. Down into turn four they go again. I think so although the... Reshka's waited this long, it's, it's not going well. It's true. But he won't be forced into a pit stop if the race is declared wet, I assume. That's true, I have no clue. Does he have to change that? I think if DRS is disabled, that indicates a wet race, and therefore you don't have to change tyre, but... I don't know whether it's whether a, a, a yeah, something like that has been accurately coded into the game or not. Geroff Yu is about to pass Reska here, regardless of anything else. Yes, um, very much the code apprentices rather than the masters, it seems. <laughs> well, I'm glad that you're able to still enjoy th this evening with us, Joe. Uh, I know that the results aren't coming yet, but... Um, Props to you for keep trying. It's all just a lap, isn't it? It's Absolutely. Serious. No, we're not. We're not going for anything major here, other than a title. But uh, <laughs> hopefully, it's a fun. It's a fun uh, format for everybody. How are you finding it without the racing along? Are you starting to adjust? Do you think? Um, the way I've tried to adapt is I try and think as hard as I can about what gear I usually go around the corner and take yeah. it from there. Absolutely. I did I did allow um, manual with suggested gear as a slight concession. So um, we'll see the suggested gear in there. And you might see a little bit more. Insta pit. Finally comes Reshka. <laughs> Just couldn't. If you're right. And it's idiot. raining. <laughs> yeah. It's raining right now. Will he choose tyres? Will he choose uh, intermediate tyres here as Reshka. Nicholas Boiter gets a new fastest lap? And he's certainly got a bit of speed within the car, Joe. Uh, Nicholas Boiter... Oh. For the facet, no, it's medium tyres going on to no, he, Reshka's he to car. Pit. He would have got disqualified as he went past that line. Exactly. So we are on the final lap of the race. Um, 
it, the rain is teeming it down right now as Geroff Yu only has to try and uh, keep it on the island, which is easier said than done. Um, Debo and Nicholas Boiter are fighting here for second spot on the podium. I can't see the penalties just yet. What have we got? They're on equal penalties. Nicholas Boiter around the outside. Geroff Yu, it's been his closest one yet. He's only got a 2.6 second gap over 18 laps. <laughs> <laughs> There's still a hope Ivan could crash in the ring for me. That's well, I think <laughs> I think Ivan is is about to cross. Oh no! Nicholas Boyter spins on the final lap of the race. Unfortunately, just taking away that battle for the final uh, position. But with the rain starting to puddle on the track, it's Geroff you once again. This time, right from the back of the race, he wins by 5.2 seconds from Debo. And from, I think, Ghost will have the next position. Ghost on the podium as well. Geroff Yu first, Devo second, and Ghost third. We've got Gott Palmer with his best result yet in P4. Quickly beaten by Nicholas Boitzer on less penalties. Um, so, Gott Palmer in fifth. Then we have Reshka, who tried to make that, that run work to the lights. Um, but he ran one lap on the medium tyre into sixth place. Matrav, uncharacteristically, down in seventh. And Kermit in eighth. He'll only be, Matrav's only... Um, only major uh, consolation from that will be the fact that main rival in this championship, um, Max, uh, didn't score highly. Geroff Hugh gets drive of the race, um, and I think that might be a pattern for us through this one. But Ghost is pleased with the podium, Joe. I'm not surprised. I didn't <laughs> retire, but I'm guessing he'll still get the point. Um, let's see what the game decides to do. I know he should if he retired with. Uh, two laps to go but <laughs> anybody's guess with the way the game's coded there's a champagne spray I forgot to take a picture of the grid so I'll have to do that uh, now but we're uh, we're losing drivers hand over fist I hope we're going to have a reasonable field for the final race <laughs> have you got a picture of the grid John we send you it um, I now have there we go good stuff thank you so Gareth you wins once again that is four from four despite two of them being at the foot of the field. There's Debo in second, Ghost in third, Nicholas Boiter with another fastest lap, again showing his speed in fourth. We've got Gott Palmer in fifth, Reshka in sixth, Matrav, Kermit, Max, and Ivan, I think, is going to get a point for that. He is registered as receiving, uh, as finishing. Joe was, uh, was given 11th place overall, but did DNF, and then Burmeister and Yamo. Joe will be back at the front of the next race once again. And those are our standings. A 57-point lead currently for Geroff Yu, which is um, getting on for unassailable soon. There's Ghost and Nicholas Boiter, Yamo, Max, Debo and Matrav, with Gott Palmer in eighth, having uh, continuing to pick up the points throughout the race, uh, throughout tonight's. And Max says rain came too late for his strategy. Ghost, as I say, very, very uh, pleased with that one. And uh, I will... And we've now had race four uh, complete. So we will take a short five minute break um, and be back with you very soon um, as I just get, uh, get the next grid organized and we have a quick breather for everybody. <laughs> Ghost says he's got to eat his tea in five minutes. Well, if you can eat it now within five minutes, you can join us back for the next race. Um, this does look like it's going to be a race of attrition uh, a championship of attrition, shall we say? A bit of an uh, of a, an experiment for me here, because uh, absolutely trying to uh, to make a nice, interesting race for everybody. Looks like um, Debo has left us temporarily, at least. Um, so we should have Yamo at the top. Looks like Ivan might have um, might have tapped out on us, unfortunately.
Okay, so back in the promised, within the promised five minutes. We'll be back with you very soon.
Well, welcome back, everybody. Good to have you back with us, and thank you so much for sticking with us here. Uh, in despite the fact that we've got uh, someone showing everyone how to go racing, um, and uh, just the high quality of Geroff Yu in these multiplayer car. Um, so, Resk is saying that once Gareth Hugh has won the championship, um, I should turn it back on the racing line. <laughs> Let's see what everybody reckons to that. So, we'll be underway. Nicholas Boyd says, new livery again, well, just the last one. Ghost has made it back, which is great to see. Um, so, um, it could be after this one, we have a little bit of a change round. Um, we have Spartacum, followed by Monaco, and then the Circuit of the Americas for the finale of tonight's Gamasama says, yes, please, um, to... Assists being turned back on. Maybe I'll maybe I'll um, uh, be willing to do that then. Well, we'll see. Let me know what you think if you're watching along with us. Should I make it easier on the guys? Um, should I allow them to use their their assists or not? I'm hesitant to allow something like traction control because it just makes the start so easy. Still hoping to hear from Geroff Yu. Hello to Liftboot, who joins us. Um, hi, and uh, what are you? Um, what brings you to us? Are you looking to? Are you a supporter of a particular ra a racer? If so, let us know. A clean split here for our race around Spa. Round five. Uh, Yamo will take the pole position and will try and hang on. Joe Hamster is in second with Ivan Tonzik in third position. Ah, Liftboot is here for Ghost. So Ghost is currently second in the championship as well with just picking up a, a podium. So let's uh, see if he can do the same. He's starting down in 10th, but with less to uh, less to do to come back at, uh, at the rest of the drivers. This is Nicholas Boyce's latest livery effort. I'm still waiting to hear from you guys on on whose uh, livery you think is the best. This is, looks very heavily Brazilian inspired, this livery on Nicholas Boiter. Quite nice complementary colours, I have to say. So looking good out there. Drivers uh, all ready to go after our little break we just had. So Yamo, again, at the front of the field, will hope to try and complete uh, a win or a podium on track here. Certainly got a lot of speed. Look out for Nicholas Boiter, who's got the fastest lap speed for, for days at the moment. Not even Gareth Yu can rival can rival him. His uh, fastest lap speed. A reminder, if you enjoy the commentary, you can find me on socials at Webo Red 5 uh, And I've got a new season of different types of racing coming up for you uh, this season to come to start with the new game iteration um, of F1 but also Gran Turismo as well starting tomorrow night there's all your tyres Yamo, Ivan, Reshka got Palmer and Nicholas Boiter all on the medium tyres to start this race but what we're hearing uh, Liftboot says can he join since there are only 11 people um, I would have would have thought so um, I would have thought so after this race drop me your PSN and I'll see what I can do this is an All-Stars event, though, and some of the All-Stars have dropped out for want of racing. Um, if Ghost can, can vouch for your lift boot, I'll, um, I'll, I'll go ahead. So tell Ghost to drop me a line and your, um, and your uh, PSN, and we'll see what we can do. Uh, so, Yamo will have the outside run into... Sorry, the inside run into last source, and will be the most vulnerable here. Lights are on, revs are up, and it's time to drop the clutch and go, go, go with 
Yamo and Joe Hamster try is squirreling away from the grid nicely. Joe Hamster on the outside, Yamo on the inside. Joe looking for a good exit and to try and get tucked up into the rear wing of the car in front. Geroff Yu is right at the back of the grid, failing to make any places on that first initial surge up the grid. But coming up close behind Matrov got past Ivan Tonsik on the way into Eau Rouge. A beautiful start um, and away then. So... It's Max defending from Matrav now. Max on the inside. Max getting past Joe Hamster. Down into Lake Com for the first time. And Max has the inside run. Joe Hamster just hanging on here. Desperate to get a finish and some points out of tonight's racing. The upside here for everybody. As round goes, Yamo once again. Yamo um, converting a pole into a spin not even uh, too far into the second sector of our race. Our 11 laps here around um, around Spa. And it's Joe Hamster in second place now. And we're having regained that position thanks to the spin from Yamo. Geroff, you is still back in the order. Obviously having a, a very slow uh, start to the race. It's Joe defending from Matrav in the very similar coloured liveries. I, I do rather like um, Matrav's livery. And as, he, as, as Lift Boots, Life Boots says, um, nice, uh, nice 360 from Yamo. But from the lead, just cold tyres. That's the problem. It's the cold tyre effect. Max is streaking away and trying to get his first win tonight. And deny Geroff Yu for the first time as down around the outside is trying Matrav through uh, the Blanchimont corner and down to the bus stop they go with Ivan Tonsik trying to get a piece of this particular action and he's very close to spinning once again Ivan uh, struggling on his way out of the uh, out of the bus stop uh, but it's uh, Max who is 1.7 sec seconds ahead of Matrav who is just 0.6 of a second ahead of Joe Hamster hanging on here and it's Joe versus Ivan um, the guys who are trying to get themselves off the bottom of the grid Liftboo says everybody trying to uh, uh, trying to uh, trying to spin today Kermit has retired in the pits um, Geroff Yu has gone for that fantastic early undercut again and trying to swap tyres around we've got uh, yellow flag uh, for the retirement of Kermit unfortunately he is out of the race but Joe Hamster hangs on Ivan Tonsik right behind him and these guys hopefully won't try and take each other out there goes Kermit leaving the session hopefully he'll be back with us but Max has spun Max has spun and that allows um, Matrav into the lead of the race and Joe Hamster follows close behind Ivan Tonsik in third Nicholas Boiter in fourth with Reshka in fifth and that's the second of our leaders having spun on their own this time out of the no-name corner uh, known as Jackie Ix now and it looks like Joe Hamster is defending from Ivan Tonsik who's gone around the outside into Leifania here for the second time of asking tonight if you don't count the formation lap, that is um, Nicholas Boyton moving his way up to P4 now. Up five places from his starting position, uh, which is a tremendous start. Geroff Yu yet to make any moves, but Max and Yamo, who started at the front of this race, uh, well, Max was on, back on row two or three, have both spun out of the lead of the race. Incredible stuff. Down to the inside, tries Nicholas Boyton, while Reshka tries to make a move, and he and Joe Hamster making contact Joe is going to feel like no one wants to leave him alone tonight and is constantly punting him off surely someone will have a heart here and let Joe finish a race uh, Max picks up a five second penalty speeding in the pit lane for the second race on the trot but this time it is for a retirement from the session I know that Max said he wasn't going to be able to make the entire evening's racing but that'll be absolutely gutting for him to have uh, spun out of the lead of this race here And round the outside of Reshka comes Matrav. Reshka tries to make a move. And there comes Nicholas Boiter suddenly in the mix. But it's, uh, it's Matrav having a problem now. Did he get attack from the back from Nicholas Boiter's car? I couldn't quite see from the angle that I had. And it's Ivan Ton Tonsik going round uh, Malmady and getting a move done on Joe Hamster. Uh, these two have been failing to finish nearly everyone. And... Uh, every race so far but now they're battling right at the front and they just need to try and get to the end of this race as Ivan spins from the lead that's our third leader spinning from the lead of the race and Joe Hamster makes up the next move no one wants to win this race um, um, and uh, Max says he needs to go well thanks Max it's been a lot of fun having you and thanks for racing doggedly on Ivan has spun 
uh, out into Pouin and I think Ivan will be retiring. Um, he's uh, picking the pace back up again but at the front it's Joe Hamster from Reshko. Ghost is back on it and Lifeboot who is uh, watching for, for Ghost will be cheering in the background here as Reshka um, gets uh, Blanchimont all wrong. Joe Hamster tries, he's just looking in his mirrors as he stops the car down into the bus stop, just waiting to be hit from the next time. And we've got uh, Ghost almost pushing Reshka down the short start finish straight towards uh, towards La Source for the fourth time of asking. Uh, Gerof Yu is making up those places now with the pit stops coming in from Nicholas Boyter, Matrav and Yamo all pitting on this lap alone. And we'll see what, uh, what their tyre situation is. Ghost is running three laps into the soft tyre run. Reshka doing all this on mediums and it looks like the mediums are working much better here. Reshka with the DRS now and can finally get a clean move done on the race leader. How long will Reshka last at the front of this field? Um, because he led the last one all but the final lap. But so far, no one seems to want to be able to win this race. Uh, everyone retiring from the lead. And Ghost goes for a late dive bomb into Malmody. And this time, it's not Joe Hamster that uh, that gets himself uh, clattered about. It was, it was, in fact, Ghost that held on to the end of this one. So Ghost just about hanging on to the end. And we've got, uh, we've got just four laps done. Joe Hamster four tenths off the lead of the race behind Reshka and now with some breathing room behind uh, we still got, got Palmer up in fourth place on the medium tyres Nicholas Boyta, Madtrav and Yamo have all pitted but of course Gerof Yu has made that undercut work by nearly five seconds from Nicholas Boyta I don't think Joe will be in the mood for trying to attack another driver at this stage after being battered around for the whole evening so far It'd be great to talk to him as a podium winner rather than as someone failing to finish. Uh, Reshka, I should keep my eye on the on the leader, really, because so far every leader has uh, has spun out of the race. Into the pits comes Ghost and got Palmer on the end of lap four, uh, but for very different tyres. Um, got Palmer will be hoping to run the softs for the bulk of the race this time and uh, is just changing tactics slightly there from what we've seen so far, but it could be a difference in the actual compound itself um, as to which one is working better around this track. Nicholas Boyter gets, moves up the field. Gerof Yu is now in third place and is on the worst tyres, having pitted early doors, as we know. So started on the softs this time. End of lap five, Joe Hamster staying within DRS range of Reshka. And clearly starting to adjust well here to the lack of racing line. I wonder, you know, if he is starting to enjoy it a little bit more than just chasing the rainbow colours. Is, uh, is it a bit more fun, a bit more immersive, dare I say, dare I suggest, to be running this way? We do have dynamic weather and it is sparse, so we could end up with some... Um, some rain at some stage. Oh, I've got Palmer with a first penalty tonight for himself. Reshka has a penalty as well, so Joe will be cognizant of that and trying to uh, keep a clean set of wheels. Gerof, you picks up a penalty as well. So an extra incentive for the likes of Nicholas Boyter, Ghost, and Joe Hamster to keep uh, away from the stewards' uh, warnings. Reshka in the pits. Joe is going to go on through this time. He'll get a little stab of DRS down this straight, but he won't get it down the Camel straight. Resco in the pits. So presumably, Gerof Yu will be up to second place as Joe outbreaks himself into, into La Source, unfortunately. And he talked about doing that in a recent race just on stream a few moments ago. So um, obviously he was very uh, wary of that. New fastest lap from Nicholas Boiter, not for the first time this evening. As uh, Ghost is uh, coming out of the pits level with Reshka. We'll have a beautiful run up towards Eau Rouge. Does he keep a lid on it or is he going to go for it? He's keeping calm. No, he's not. They're rubbing wheels into 
um, into the Radion exit. And here comes Got Palmer on the inside as well, with a much better run, having not um, made contact with Reshka. Which way does Reshka go? Got Palmer tries to take the uh, the normal racing line. Ghost and Reshka will come to blows. And wow, Ghost saves it, but only by pinballing off the side of Got Palmer, who manages to get the place and uh, stay under racing speed it's Joe Hamster still in the lead of this race though having not pitted but surely being uh, ready to pit very very shortly where will he come out will he come out in P7 um, for a good points scoring finish Yamo picks up a three second penalty again and I say get off you has a penalty. Uh, we're waiting for just the pit stop from Joe Hamster. And is it this time round that he goes for it? Let's ride with Joe. It is a very treacherous pit lane entry around here as he spins the wheels. Needs to get the car successfully down. And there is the speeding in the pit lane, unfortunately for Joe. That's really going to make life very difficult for him. Get off you takes the lead of the race. Will anybody be able to challenge him later in into this with uh, four laps to go here in Spa? Nicholas Boiter is 3.3 seconds behind Geroff Yu and within that penalty, that crucial penalty window of Geroff Yu. So Nicholas Boiter, 3.3 seconds, 3.4 now, needs to be within three of Geroff Yu and is, in, is on the slightly quicker tyre to the end of this race. Geroff Yu will be running the mediums all the way through. Uh, further back though, Reshka, Got Palmer and Ghost are doing battle. Yamo gets a penalty as well. So we'll just keep an eye on penalties because um, all the pit stops are done with. What tyre they're on is, is relatively immaterial in these 25% races. Got Palmer closing in slowly but steadily, as has been his character. Can he get himself on the podium for the first time here? Certainly on course, as things stand. Nicholas Boiter needs to try and stay with Geroff Yu's speed as well. He's now slipping beyond one second past the, the crucial, um, crucial penalty delta. Got Palmer getting through Stavolo now. We'll have a long run up through Blanchimont. Reshka tries to put the squeeze. They will reach V Max down this straight past Blanchimont. Um, but will any will either of them get ahead of the other? Got Palmer is derating down towards the bus stop, gets the, the car stopped beautifully into the bus stop and takes the position. But now will be vulnerable from the likes of both Reshka and Ghost using the DRS as they get a short stab of DRS down into La Source and then a very long um, amount of DRS down the Camel Straight. So Got Palmer looking for a, a really good run through Eau Rouge and Radion this time. But racing with three seconds of penalties that didn't look ideal did it Reshka will come screaming past gets the inside line gets past already Ghost will try and tuck it uh, Got Palmer will try and tuck in and defend from Ghost who draws alongside and sweeps around the outside and there exactly as I was predicting Got Palmer struggling to fight with Ghost and Reshka seems to be that that trip through the Eau Rouge was a difficult one for Got Palmer. Geroff Yu is in the lead by 4.1 seconds, which is 1.1 seconds after penalties. And everybody else, apart from Nicholas Boiter, have picked up penalties tonight. I wonder if William is still there, Nicholas's brother, who helps engineer for him and uh, is telling him what's happening in the race. Joe Hamster is making a move here on, on Yamo, and it's Yamo off track again, unfortunately. Yamo struggling to control the car. Obviously, the setup um, options that I've given the drivers have not been particularly helpful for them. Yeah, well, let's see if we can keep everybody interested to the end of this one. I will allow, certainly allow setups and uh, 
and assists in the next race. Ghost and Got Palmer. Got Palmer really struggling on these tyres. What, what's wrong with the tyres for Got Palmer? I don't think it's tyre deg that's, that he's suffering with. Lap 9 sees Garofiu 4.5 seconds ahead of Nicholas Boiter and Reschke a further 6 back. It's Got Palmer 0.7 of a second away from Ghost. These gaps really opening up now. Uh, Ghost slipping out of DRS range to Reshka, who is looking for a podium here. Ivan says it has, it's been fun, which is all that we're here for, really. Just for a little bit of fun, a little bit of something different to um, enjoy and uh, say farewell to a game that, is, uh, that we've all put a lot of hours into. The hill we go to start the penultimate lap. Gerofiu 5.5 seconds in the lead. Ghost is half a second back behind Reshka and might be aim in range to make a move now. The, the camel straight is running out on Ghost. Ryan is back to uh, see. Got Palmer has regathered the car. Um, let's have a look back at penalties again. They've really equalised once again. These these three drivers all close for speed. Ghost looking for that um, that second podium here. Nicholas Boiter trying to get on the podium. I think for the first time, right? Um, and Gerof Yu looking to make it five wins from five races. These early undercuts really helping him. Should be a heck of a last lap with these three. No change in the weather conditions for us here in Spa. Let's see what Monaco has to offer. Can anything stop Gerof you? Perhaps a track where he can't pass people left, right and centre might be the one that does it. But uh, Ghost is three tenths. Scott Palmer needs to ex exact revenge for a couple of laps previously where he got passed by both of these drivers. He will have the better run through O Rouge. All depends on how the car is feeling on, at this point. Here we go, up the hill. That looked a little bit cleaner. DRS is open. I don't think either of these drivers are close enough to, to the one in front to make him a go of it. Gerof Yu is going to be the only leader of this race who does not spin from the lead if he continues to finish up this lap. He is uh, 6.9 seconds now ahead of the rest of them. Nicholas Boiter with a penalty, the first penalty on the board now uh, for the driver with no penalties to this point. Got Palmer making up a whole new line and Ghost bins it on the way out of Jackie X or No Name, depending on your preference. Got Palmer might uh, end up with fourth place here although he's got a nine-second penalty, so he can't get Reshka at this stage. Um, Gerof Yu is going, heading towards Blanchimont here for the final time before we go to our final race.
And there is Gerof Yu getting himself into the bus stop for the final time. He makes it five wins from five races. Gerof Yu still on top and winning once again for his team NLR and for himself. He is now officially our very first Webos All-Star. Nicholas Boiter securing second place uh, with a great run. It looks like Yamo currently has the fastest lap as Reshka gets P3 on the podium there and Got Palmer. Another great result for Got Palmer uh, moving up uh, uh, and will help him move up the championship. There is Ghost. Um, we've got Joe Hamster as well still to come through the order. Will be a while waiting for Yamo's car, I think, because he was almost lapped. But Joe Hamster will pick up points and get that sixth place finish um, that he's been waiting on and a just reward there. Ghost says he couldn't see the corner because of the sunlight as it was either setting or rising. <laughs> um, it is on random, so I can't tell for sure. Across the line then comes Mad Trap to pick up P7. And we'll have one more race for you tonight. And that will be around the Principality of Monaco. But as, I'm, as I say, once again, it is Gerof Yu still on top. And winning the race. We wait for Yamo, the fastest lap uh, of this race at least. He'll get an extra point for that. Nicholas Boyter says he's got to go, sadly. And we've got the podium. Uh, so we've got some people asking for one-shot quali to finish this one out. I think that will guarantee Gerof you will uh, will be up there. Joe says no. <laughs> um, I'm not going to change it now. Let's uh, stick with that. But uh, there is Gerof you, Nicholas Boyter, Reshka, Got Palmer, Ghost, Joe Hamster, Matrav, Yamo, all finishing the race. Yamo with the fastest lap point, and then Ivan, Max, and Kermit. Unfortunately, didn't make the end. That confirms Gerof Yu as the first Webos All-Star. Uh, Nicholas Boiter is in second place. Ghost could secure second with a good points finish in the next race. Likewise, Yamo could try and get himself up into the standings podium. Um, but uh, I'll be I'll just construct the grid for the next race. Change the uh, just change the setting as well to. Uh, Please, our drivers who have been at various stage moaning or um, or lobbying, perhaps. So just bear with me. I won't let them have. Um, I won't let them have steering assist or anything silly.
Okay, we'll be underway for you very soon. Just waiting for um, to see if anybody else wants to take up the invitation to join us from here around Monaco for this final race of the All-Stars. As I say, Geroff Yu has been crowned the Webo's first All-Star, or the first Webo's All-Star, depending on your uh, preference. Uh, what does one of my drivers want here? Okay, looks like we're good to go, good to get underway. You can see that we're still battling for second place in the overall standings. Looks like Ghost versus Yamo and got Palmer. Okay, so in a different challenge for the final race around Monaco. They will have their um, their stuff back on. They can use their custom setups. Looks like we've got an evening race in Monaco as well, which is very uh, interesting to enjoy. And um, they can have their assists back on as well. You rarely, rarely ever see a uh, see a league race around Monaco. Uh, Reshka saying that his game crashed, unfortunately. Have we lost one of our few drivers we had remaining with us to the death? I will do my best to get Reshka back in, but I think we may have a crash here.
Oh, Reshka's back, which is great. Great to see, and it looks like we're starting to count back down again. Here we go then. So 20 laps around Monaco. to make a decision, don't I, about uh, the about the best livery on off on offer. I think it's going to have to go to Got Palmer. Overall, let's see what life lifeboat has got. Life boot. Uh, it's quite smart, but uh, no, for me. Oh, do I like ketchup and mustard? Do you know? I think I do like ketchup and mustard more. Uh, because I know that Joe made this himself. So whether that's a whether that's a mistake on my part, it's very tough for me to choose between Got Palmer and Ghost. But um, I'm going to give it to Ghost for the uh, the avoidance of doubt. Most drivers have gone for medium tyres here. Should be an interesting strategic option here for everybody. And Reshka, I think, is not in control of the car, but should be able to restart. To be able to start with this, okay. Let's see if the driver has been doing much in the way of um, of practice here around Monaco. We'll gather towards the. towards the custom the, the, the grid here and it's not going to be particularly difficult for Gareth you that is 150 comments today which is awesome uh, thank you so much to everyone who has enjoyed tonight's racing with us I hope uh, it's been something a little bit different a little bit special for you uh, so 20 laps of Monaco as we raise the revs we drop the clutch and go, go, go. Yamo and Joe Hamster line astern once again. But it's but it's Scott Palmer with a beautiful start, making up a place already up to P2. And uh, Geroff Yu struggling at the back there with Reshka, who I'm hoping is able to get back into the uh, control of the car. It's um, got Palmer, who's up into P2 and chasing down Yamo. Uh, Ghost and Joe Hamster. Ghost going for the move into Mirabeau. And a little touch on the rear wheel of Joe. Uh, Joe will be so sick of seeing that today. It looks like maybe Reshka is struggling to get in. Into the car. Is he? No, he is in the car and he's got ahead of Lifeboot. So Reshka and Lifeboot getting a little bit out of shape on the way down to the casino. The Grand Hotel hairpin, I should say. Um, and it's Ghost making contact with Joe. Not again, Ghost. You've got to stop doing this to Joe. Something like that, and I'll take the livery award off you. <laughs> um, got Palmer at 1.4 seconds behind. Geroff Yu is already up to fourth on the option tyre strategy. Um, but Joe being clattered around as usual. There will be plenty to still race for in terms of race points, championship points even, uh, for Joe, because I doubt that all these drivers will make the end of the race. I think we'll be lucky to see everybody at the at the end of this race. Yamo holds on though so far up in up in the lead by 1.7 seconds from Ghost. Lifeboot has gone into the pits, presumably to repair some damage. Uh, is he with us or not? Reshka has left the session temporarily, I hope at least. And he's out of the race so far. Round the hairpin goes uh, Geroff Yu. Not really making a great deal of inroads here on the back of Ghost, but it's got Palmer in second, Ghost in third, and Yamo leading this race. Lifeboot and Reshka both in the pits at this stage. Lifeboot coming out of the pits. There's that sparking um, sparking barrier at the Nouvelle Chicane you see so often when you do finally get a race around here. Reshka's in the pits with no front wing. Well, that's a sorry state of affairs. The game hasn't even put a new front wing on. I don't think that was a deliberate retirement from Reshka. Um, here he is, out of the race. Yellow flag, but Yamo getting the fastest lap. But Ghost quickly beating Yamo. And he's on the ascendancy here, Ghost. 
with a 111-205. And Drink Alchemy just joining us to say what happened to all the drivers. Well, um, a lot of them ran scared of racing no assists, I have to say. Um, but uh, as the evening drew on, we have lost drivers to various things such as dinner and domestic issues and bad moods and all sorts of things. But here are the hardy few who have remained with us looking for a good result to finish uh, on a high tonight. Geroff Yu looking to make it six from six but uh, he's won the first five races uh, today. But will he be able to, to translate that, um, that same pace? At the moment, it doesn't look like it. It doesn't look like he quite has the same pace as he has in other races. A reminder to try Drink Alchemy's Nootropic drink. If you want to place an order, please use the discount code WEBO. That's W-E-B-B-O. And we thank them for their support in today's broadcast. Ghost now getting to within that DRS zone. Lifeboot spun and is out of the race, he says, but so is Reshka with that uh, dramatic DNF we saw happen on board. And through into Massane, and then Casino goes Ghost and has finally got himself back up to the DRS range behind Got Palmer. No penalties on the board just yet. It's difficult to pick up penalties. You've pretty much only got, um, only got the Nouvelle Chicane where you can overstep the boundary of the racetrack. He said, uh, Lifeboot says he's, he used the wrong gear, unfortunately. Reshka, I think, will be uh, glad to see the back of the game after tonight's dramas. Ghost staying just about within that DRS range. He'll get a short burst of DRS but it, all he can hope here is to put the pressure on Got Palmer and hope that he forces an error as I say Got Palmer racing without the benefit of what we all take for granted being able to race this with, with sound and be able to hear the tyres be able to hear what the engine is doing and the wheel, wheel spin and he is uh, he's absolutely monstering this, it'd be great to see him on the podium after a dogged and determined night's racing keeping clean uh, racing as well and they're both catching Yamo now both Ghost and Got Palmer catching him Joe Hamps just hanging on into that fourth place and Gareth Yu is in fifth I think Gareth Yu has pitted yes confirm that that Gareth Yu has pitted uh, so he's again going for that early undercut on the drivers but didn't appear to be catching the others Skipping across the swimming pool, Chicane goes ghost. I've lost my, lost the intervals, but at the moment, there's a pit stop from Yamo in on lap five off the soft tyres. It is a fairly um, long race in terms of lap numbers. Got Palmer takes the lead of the race, then is derating up the hill um, at, at Beau Rivage and Massenet. Now into Casino and heading towards Mirabeau, avoiding the bump. I'm not sure how necessary avoiding the bump actually is in the game, but it's almost a force of habit, and the, the racing line tells people to do it, so they do it if the racing line is on. Skipping over that Nouvelle Chicane will be the way to get a penalty. Yamo is 15 seconds off the off this battle, which is now down to four tenths of a second between Got Palmer and Ghost. Will there be a pit to pass situation between the two of them as they'll be aware that Yamo has pitted and be cognizant of the undercut coming? Neither of them pit on the end of lap six, but they're on the medium tyre, so they need to go at least half distance to make this one work. Geroff Yu is closing towards the back of Joe Hamster as well. Yeah. 
Still no way through for Ghost. Will he have a little stab into the hairpin? Not quite. Let's have a look at Geroff Yu and Joe Hamster. Uh, Joe will be desperate that someone doesn't hit him off here again. He was uh, clattered into in the Nouvelle Chicane. It wouldn't surprise me if Joe feels like letting the driver past who's on newer soft tyres, but he knows that he can limit Geroff Yu's wins to five tonight if he can hold him up. We heard from him earlier, he likes a battle and uh, he doesn't like people winning everything. Well, here they go then, Geroff Yu, right with Joe Hamster, who decides not to defend and they'll go side by side into the Nouvelle Chicane. Joe Hamster not giving up easily. And he's, uh, he's absolutely ruining this strategy of Geroff Yu. Ghost pits, but Got Palmer doesn't. So that'll be interesting to see on the way out. Uh, has Yamo managed to undercut Ghost as well? Yes, indeed he has. He gets past and he gets a new fastest lap on his outlap. So monstering that outlap from Yamo as Geroff Yu cannot pass Joe Hamster into lap. The start of lap eight now for these guys. Very little you can do on DRS. And there's a penalty for too much too much uh, Apex into Sandovot for Geroff Yu. This could be the one that spoils it for him. Um, the drivers wanted me to limit, to, to give them all back their assists so they could compete with the likes of Geroff Yu, who naturally drives, normally drives without assists. He might go for a late one into the hairpin, but doesn't. He's very keen to win every race, but getting the hairpin a little bit wrong that gives uh, Joe a little bit of breathing room into the next time into the Nouvelle Chicane. And there's Ghost, uh, some five seconds off the back. Ayamo has lost out in a huge way, but got Palmer picked up a five-second penalty in the pit lane. And that's going to really hurt his battle with Ghost for second place in this race so far. Um, shouldn't hurt uh, with Joe Hamster who is 8.7 seconds with a penalty himself. So Got Palmer will almost certainly come out of the pits. Um, there he goes. Massive snap oversteer on the way out of the pit lane. And Ghost gets passed with the undercut. Got Palmer, um, we know, has a penalty on the board. So will he still feel like battling with Ghost now? Or will he settle for that podium? Uh, try and, uh, and beat Geroff Yu to the end of this race, which is going to be no mean feat despite the fact that now Joe Hamster is making sure that Geroff Yu is nine seconds away from that battle for the podium, the final podium position. Geroff Yu trying to make that, uh, that undercut work. Joe Hamster on the medium tyres is absolutely spoiling his strategy plan here. But Joe has every right to do this. And slowly but surely, the soft tyres on Geroff Yu's car are going to be problematic. And Joe getting the exit of the Nouvelle Chicane wrong. And that opens the door for Geroff Yu, who now has a job on his hands. 11 seconds to make up um, on the driver in front. Joe Hamster will have to pit again, but will try and get home for fifth place. Ghost in, on a 110.5 has a new fastest lap as he starts to hunt down Yamo. Those two, the only ones without penalty. So you've got to say that Geroff Yu's mission here is... Is it mission impossible for, for uh, Geroff Yu to reach the end of the race um, and get onto the podium despite the... Because he didn't seem to have the, the, the pace delta that he's had in the rest of the races. Um, he's won five of our races tonight. Can he go on and win in the final race or... Will there be a different person at the top? Of course, it all depends on the front runners um, not making an error, like Joe just did on the way out of the Grand Hotel hairpin. But Cobb Palmer has now closed to the back of Ghost again. And Ghost makes a mistake, and that lets Scott Palmer through. And will that be enough? Because Scott Palmer can now uh, really dial up the pressure Ghost is dropping back. Has he got damage on the car? That's an end plate gone. That's an end plate gone for Ghost. So that means after only two laps on the soft tyre, he's in for a change of front wing. That made the job a little bit easier for Geroff Yu, who will get past here 
Screams on past the start finish line and Ghost has left the, left the session. Has he not officially retired from the race? Or was that an accidental disco on Ghost's account? So 13.3 seconds. Uh, Ghost says he's had a lot of fun. So that's good. Well, thanks, Ghost. You've been very entertaining. I don't know if you'll hang on to second place in the overall standings, but uh, 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 great evenings racing from you. So thanks so much. Got Palmer starting to get into a nice rhythm. Obviously feeling good on the tyres. It's going to try and get more than half distance. <laughs> I say feeling good on the tyres. And there was a little uh, power oversteer going into Anthony Nogue. The final corner. So what kind of pace has Geroff you got now that he's on those... Got clear air in front of him. It looks like Got Palmer and Yamo have the measure of him with the assists enabled. Got Palmer struggling through Mirabeau. What is going on with those rear tyres? But it doesn't look like Gareth Hugh having particularly that much better a journey through the race than for him, for Got Palmer. Because he's still not closing hugely. And he's got about a second on him there after that problem. But a five second penalty will be paid by Got Palmer at the end of this one. Johamster still in fourth. And how is how is the car feeling for Yamo? Oh, big. <laughs> Getting big. A big uh, four-wheel slide going into uh, Raskas from Yamo. Goes to cross the line this time. A 14 triple one. is 3.2 seconds slower than his best time on the tyres. Uh, yellow flag in sector one. Was that got Palmer possibly having a problem? His interval hasn't changed drastically to get off you. Here is Yamo just navigating those barriers. Car still just about in one piece. Oh no, not a little spin from Got Palmer there. That will certainly help Garoff Yu's mission. So absolutely struggling around these drivers. I don't think one of them is putting in a clean lap at this point. So there's a two second penalty difference between Got Palmer and Garoff Yu. And uh, the gap is now down to 7.7 .7 seconds. How is Garoff Yu's pace with six laps to go? The light effect looked like he'd um, his DRS had opened, but it was just the change in light conditions. Um, not a particularly quick lap from Garoff Yu. Joe is back in the pits again for a new set of tyres. Is that soft tyres on Joe's car? It is, a new set of softs for six lap for a six lap run. Gets overtaken by Ghost's AI. So Joe is running that on but not over the yellow line rule interpretation. Caused a bit of controversy earlier this year. And then Yamo, I say, trying to hang on to this one. He's been racing with us all night long. He's going to make... It's going to be amazing if he can get to the end here at the, at the most difficult race on the track, on, on the calendar. If he can hang, hang together here, it will be a fantastic result. Five laps to go. Geroff used gap is now 4.9 seconds uh, minus two. You could say, and looks like Got Palmer's gone in the pits. He's given that one up. 
He's serving his penalty and he's putting a new front wing on. Must have picked up some damage that time round. So, unfortunately for Got Palmer, that is almost certainly going to secure that as a third place, not a second. And for us, it means it's taken all the peril out of the remainder of the race. But uh, let's see. Well, there goes Ghost's AI getting past Got Palmer. It shouldn't be too hard, though, for him to get to make the overtake once he gets back up to racing speed. The uh, AI is not particularly high. I think I put it at 80 or something. So it wasn't too much in the way of other drivers. Yeah, a lot more speed for Got Palmer. So he'll be hoping to get himself up onto the podium, having served that five-second penalty now. So distracting when a ghosted car doesn't get out of your way. But he's dispatched with that nicely. And Joe Hamster starting to catch that ghosted car again. Got Palmer picks up another penalty. His first penalty now. And again, clatters the wall. Is that, is that goodbye to his front wing end plate again? No, he just keeps it on the island. Geroff Hughes, gap. He's back in the pits. He's looking for a fastest lap, I think. Geroff Hughes ought to make it interesting. I didn't see a new front wing there on uh, Geroff Hughes' car after the pit stop. <laughs> Got Palmer will be... Absolutely amazed that he's just been passed. What about Joe, though? Can Joe fight with Geroff Yu once again? He'll be absolutely loving the fact that Geroff Yu's back in the mix. But on brand new tyres, surely has the measure of, of Joe here. So, Joe, 1.3 seconds. He's now past Ghost, which is nice. Um, Geroff Yu is closing on that. Uh, oh, and with, of course, with Got Palmer getting the same penalty, all he can do now is try and hold off Geroff Yu to the end of this race. And they come into Raskas with three complete laps to go. Yamo started that lap 17 and he's miles away from everybody else 32 seconds up the road but with Got Palmer and with Geroff Yu with Geroff Yu making that second pit stop is that telling us that the softs will not go a great distance in the race um, Yamo has pitted a second no sorry let me just check on that Geroff Yu just showing himself there to um, to Got Palmer it has been a two-stop race, except for Joe Hamster so far. Joe um, got those mediums all the way through. Yamo pits again. So Yamo back in the pits. What is that for? That is for another new wing uh, on the track. So Yamo back in the pits once again. That could... Oh, and it looks like Got Palmer and Geroff, you have come to blows just as I cut away from them. Um... Geroff Yu just getting the car back under control and letting Got Palmer get back up to speed very sportingly. Probably won't feel particularly like he's been treated sportingly, Got Palmer, if uh, he has been nerfed off. But there doesn't appear to be damage on the front wing, at least. Got Palmer is slip sliding around this racetrack, but um, Geroff Yu still behind him, making unable to make a move. Joe Hamster watching behind all of them. But picks up another penalty, Joe, uh, this time. And Yamo's back out and in front of everybody, still by 15.3 seconds. He'll be so happy to win this race if he can get there. Down into Mirror Boat. Go Got Palmer and Geroff Yu. Just two laps to go now, one and a half just about. This is the scene of, of last right of last lap's accident. Got Palmer. Is he going to give up another penalty by skipping that po that uh, chicane? 
Curfew will be getting frustrated. And there is another penalty, skipping over the swimming pool section. Geroff Yu all over the back and hitting the barriers. Round goes Joe Hamster past Geroff Yu, who almost spins the car completely. These guys are putting on a show for us at the end of this race. And Joe Hamster got Palmer releasing the drivers in front of him. Again, I think that that's being sporting. Is this uh, going to help Joe get himself with presumably some damage on those other cars? Will Joe be able to get himself onto the podium tonight? Let's have a look at the um, at the penalties. He'll be as surprised as most here to still be within a shout of the podium. He has uh, one stopped this one, where everybody else, I think, has two stopped or three. So Joe's got himself right back into the mix here, keeping those tyres alive with two, one and a half laps to go. And Yamo is 19 seconds ahead of anybody else here. Down we go into the Nouvelle Chicane. And no attempt at a move there from Geroff Yu this time. He doesn't need to make the move. He knows he can't get Yamo under his own steam. Yamo gets a 109.089 for a new fastest lap of the race as well to boot. Could be going for a maximum point haul here. And the car still sliding around. I got to imagine Geroff Yu has got some kind of damage on the car. Tries to get underneath Joe into Sandovot, but he just no way through. Got Palmer picks up another penalty as well on the board, so that could secure Joe um, onto the podium around Monaco. Joe shapes to the inside into Mirabeau. Geroff Yu has to slam on the brakes, couldn't go for it. He just can't get the move done. Joe is hanging on grimly here. Uh, again, Geroff Yu will get the get the uh, the position um, after after penalty count back. Let's go and have a look at Yamo though, who Yamo doggedly staying with us all race long is going to pit to win. I think that's the plan. He's going to cross the line uh, very soon. Hopefully, he won't have left it too long. But he's some. 20 odd seconds in the lead he's going to serve a de facto drive through and he's going to cross the line round and about now to win the Monaco Grand Prix in the pits as well and he wins tremendous stuff from Yamo that's how it's done Joe Hamster can he hang on to the end Joe is about to get there and Joe manages to get himself onto the podium get off you almost with a perfect score but he managed he got six wins and a second place um, a tremendous race overall and uh, a race of attrition as you'd expect as the evening turned out to be Gareth you getting driver of the race once again and uh, I think I'm just joined here by Yamo Yamo you're the only one who managed to stop Gareth you getting a perfect evening <laughs> um, uh, I think Monaco is one of my best tracks that was amazing and you did it in style you decided to win in the pit lane <laughs> I thought why not <laughs> <laughs> well, tremendous stuff uh, what was it like out there have you had a good evening yeah I wanted to thank you uh, for the opportunity no problem no problem it's been a lot of fun and uh, yeah good to good to have you with us um, I know it's been a while since I've been commentating over your races but uh, I, yeah, I, I, did, I didn't forget having fun with you uh, you got the fastest lap as well there look um, and there is uh, there's confirmation yeah. <laughs> That's only half a second of my personal best lap. Wow, fantastic stuff. And did you pick up much damage today? Uh, Everyone else seemed to. Last, uh, last, last pit stop, I picked up damage. And I can confirm as well, look, that you got second place over tonight's uh, standings. So 67 nice. points, you got second place. Ghost came third. We've got Palmer um, hanging on with us to pick up fourth place. Reshka in fifth, Joe mm. Hamster in sixth. Um, and Joe Hamster ended up with 23 points after it all. So tremendous stuff uh, and, and congratulations, Yamo. Uh, a great race and a great evening. Thank you. Awesome. Well, unless Geroff Yu decides to make a late uh, arrival into the party, um, I think we might uh, leave it at that. He was um, imperious tonight, with the exception of Monaco, almost a perfect score. But Geroff Yu is absolutely the guy to beat. Um, I don't know if there will be a second Webos All-Stars, but I'm sure he'll be the first one to be invited if he if there is. Um, thank you so much, everybody, um, for 
enjoying tonight's uh, and tonight's racing with us. Thank you again to League Racing TV and to Drink Alchemy for their support. Um, and um, like I say, if you want to support um, me, you can either buy discounted Drink Alchemy drinks using the, the promo code Webo, or you can follow me on social media at Webo Red Five. But from me, from everyone involved tonight, we say farewell to F1 2021. Bring on F1 22, and. Uh, from from me and everyone else we will all catch you on the next race day